What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's popping? What's good? What's good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's popping, people? What's going on? How's everybody doing? Shout out to everybody in the chat. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody tuning in. You feel me? Shout out to all the moderators. You understand? Uh, shout out to all y'all out there, man. But look, look, I want you, I want you guys to see my shirt real quick. This is the bitch relax shirt from my dude Boss Mac. You feel me? Shout out to Boss Mac. This is the bitch relax shirts. You feel me? You can get that at bossmacstreetwear.com. Get your shirts at bossmacstreetwear.com. Make sure you, uh, you know, support my dude, Boss Mac. He's in the Game Kings documentary. So make sure you guys get the shirts. The shirts are crazy. You feel what I'm saying? And he has different styles, different colors, different uh, shirts on there. Boss Mac's been doing it for a minute. So shout out to my dude, Boss Mac, for the shirts. Appreciate you, fam. And uh, guys, make sure you guys hit that like button as soon as you come in. But before we get into the game, you feel me? Let's go. Everybody make- has game. The thing is, though, is your game weak or is your game strong? See, that's the difference. See, having weak game is synonymous with having no game. But you have game. You have a strategy to get what you want. But your strategy might be weak. I always tell these guys, snap your fingers. And I'll tell them, snap your fingers. like, you hear that sound? They're like, I'm like, what is that sound? Bitch, that's a 17-year-old that just turned 18. That's a 19-year-old that just turned 21. They are just, tur- they, they, they're everywhere. Hi, how you doing? You think I give a fuck about how you doing, bitch? All I want you to motherfucking do is open your mouth and say something so I can hear how your voice sounds so it can tell me how the fuck to get at you. Your feelings are not facts. Because you feel like whatever you feel like, you can't get me to believe that there's more than two genders. You understand what I'm saying? And truthfully, I'm not sorry because I can't, I can't really make facts out of your fucking feelings. Matter of fact, fuck your feelings. There's only two genders. Only two genders. You trying to tell me that genders are neutral and niggas is trying to come up with 92 fucking genders, bro. There's this narrative now that it's okay for a man to cry and it's really pushing this sensitivity, express yourself, express your feelings. One thing I've always respected about my father growing up, I never seen my dad cry. Me and him would get into arguments, we would go at it, we would fight, I would say the harshest things to him I could to hurt his feelings, but I never broke him. Shoot, just the right pair of shoes get your dick suck. Just the right pair of shoes, women don't, seriously, you could be, you could look like Boris Cujo, you be six foot eight, you know, have a print down to your knee, they look at those shoes, they bust, they just like, oh no, not him. Nah, boo boo. The bitches shine because of the nigga. Period. Like, and, 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 and when it's functioning correctly, that's the way it is. So, on that, on that note, dick is a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. You got to play your way from start to the end. That's having game. Because if you do that, what you expect is what's going to happen. See, don't know accidents happen with motherfuckers that got game. All right, we back, we back, we back. We are back. Listen, the game... It's going to be so heavy today. Man, man, oh man. So, today's topic, letting women approach. Is this real game or is this just theory? You feel what I'm saying? You said, how do you you become a shot caller? (laughs) Why are you fucking around, CC? Why are you going to make me do this, CC? Damn it, why are you going to make me do this shit, CC? That's not right, CC. You gonna make me do this shit? You niggas make- be all up in their ego, you man. You gonna make me do this shit, man? Why? Why you dudes be this thinking season? they running shit? Right. Like niggas gotta answer to them or some shit. 
Like oh. I'm supposed to be coming to you to do the shit I've been doing. It's crazy. Like get the fuck out of here. Niggas thinking they shot callers. Niggas thinking that they ballers. They just bitch ass niggas. I bet you they grew up without fathers. Yo, I'll son you nigga. Okay, alright, I'll son you niggas. Yo, I'll son you nigga. Okay, alright, I'll son you niggas. These niggas is so fake. Alright, that's enough. That's enough for that shit. That's enough for that shit. That's enough for that shit, man. All right, that's enough of that shit. That's that new trends right there. But no, but look, today, guys, man, <laughs> he said I sound like a New York nigga. Yeah, I'm from New York, man. That's that's what it that's what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm a, I'm an old school New York motherfucker. But anyway, but yo, today we're gonna be talking about letting women approach. Is this real game or is this theory, man? So the other day I put out a video. And I titled it, you're delusional if you think women are going to approach you, right? I put out this video, um, you know, a few, I think it was maybe yesterday or or the day before yesterday, one of them days. Anyway, so most of the people that watched it, they understood, they got it, you know, because I think most of you guys that watch me, y'all know what the deal is. You understand? Y'all, y'all got game. Y'all understand how it is. Y'all stepping up your shit and you making shit happen. But there's a lot of people who still don't get it. And the thing is, what sucks is that guys are going to make a lot of mistakes. Guys are going to get, uh, you know, in situations where shit is not going the way they want it to go because they don't really understand the game. They don't understand reality. Right. And what you have to understand is, is that in reality, right, what happens is is that most guys, 99.9999999% of guys, right? Not only will not have women approach them, but will never have a woman approach them in their entire life. You understand? I don't care how uh, much you you, you self-improve. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care what, you know, you you up in your status, all this other shit, these chicks are not going to approach you. Not only are they not going to approach you, right? They're not going to, some guys are not going to get it their entire life. And even if a guy gets a woman that's going to approach him, it does not happen often enough for it to be substantial. You understand? It doesn't happen often enough for it to even matter. You see what I'm saying? So what I, what I took here, I want, I want to show you guys some, um, some screenshots from the comments in these videos, right? And again, this is this isn't going to anybody because me and this dude, uh, we actually had a, a cool back and forth because I was like, okay, well, let's let's talk about this, right? So, my man Jimmy Moore, uh, I guess the second, right? He says, if you live in Atlanta and you keep yourself in shape, women will approach you daily. When you go to the gym, store, etc., you don't even have to want to meet anyone. As a matter of fact, that's when it happens more. Okay, so my man Jimmy is saying that if you live in Atlanta, hold on, is that April MC in the building? Shout out to April MC. Let me let me let me pin the the joint at the top. Let me pin the joint at the top. So, my man Jimmy said, if you go to Atlanta and you're in shape, chicks is going to be rolling up on you daily. Now, listen. I have actually never been to Atlanta ever in my life, not once, but I have clients that are in Atlanta. And this, is, and this is what I told them. I said, this is the first time I'm hearing this about Atlanta. I didn't know Atlanta was the spot where chicks is going to roll up on you. Now, it's funny. I heard there's a lot of gay dudes in Atlanta. So maybe that's it. Maybe because there's a lot of gay dudes, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> then they, they're like, fuck, there's all these gay guys here. So we got to go and approach dudes and see which ones ain't gay so we could get some shit popping or something. I don't know what it is, but you know, um, anyone in the chat, it, let me know if y'all been into Atlanta and let me know when you're in Atlanta, do you just walk outside and do chicks just be randomly coming up to you daily? Is that what happens? You understand? 
Does that happen? I just want to know. Anybody from Atlanta, I want to know, when you walk outside your house or you are coming out of an establishment, going into an establishment, right? Are women just rolling up on you daily? You understand? I'm just, I just want to know. Maybe I'm ignorant. Maybe I need to, you know, maybe I don't know. You understand? Maybe I gotta, gotta go to Atlanta and I'll do another choosing signals video or something. And then, you know, we'll see. You understand? But this is the thing. So my dude, Jimmy, remember he said, I'm gonna read it again. He said, if you live in Atlanta and you keep yourself in shape, women will approach you daily. When you go to the gym store, et cetera, you don't even have to want to meet anyone. As a matter of fact, that's when it happens more. So I said to Jimmy, right? I asked him, this is what I asked him at first. Let me say what I asked him first before I put this up. I didn't, I didn't put up the other screenshots. Basically, I asked him, okay, how many chicks approach you today? So he was like, well, I haven't been outside today or whatever. I said, cool. So then I sent him this. I said, this week, I said, how many women this week stopped you in your tracks or walked up to you and started a conversation with you without you having to do anything and offered you their number or tried to get your number. Um, I've never been to Atlanta, but I have clients in Atlanta. So I was basically telling the same thing I'm telling you guys, right? Then he says, wow, three this week. He said, if women approaching is taboo to someone that has content like you, the rest of my life would be baffling to you. I truly did not expect you to find surprise in this. And he said, he was saying, I've been married and divorced. Filed for divorce, uh, he said, three times. They initiated our meeting and such and such and so forth and so on. Now, the reason why I bring that up is this. Because remember, Jimmy said, if you live in Atlanta and you keep yourself in shape, women will approach you daily. So then I asked him, I said, well, how many women approached you this week? And I asked him this yesterday, which was Friday, Right? The week starts Sunday. So you got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? So he had five days, unless he just stayed home. You understand what I'm saying? So he had five days. So out of five days, he says three women approached him. That doesn't sound like daily to me. Now, I could just be nitpicking, right? Because he said daily, but he's saying three women approached him this week. So if he's been outside every day this week, and only three women approached them, that's not daily, right? But I also said to him this, and I, you know, I didn't take a screenshot, but basically what I said to him is this. I said, okay, cool. Well, maybe you're the exception, but even if you're the exception, the fact that only three women a week are, is approaching you, that's still not enough. And see, that's one of the big things that guys don't talk about when it comes to this whole theory of letting a woman approach right as a as a strategy to make something happen whenever you're trying to be successful in this game right you have to understand that it's a numbers game so three women approaching you is still not enough for you to be successful in the game because who's to say the three women that approached him he was attracted to you understand because i'm just going by his words because we don't even know if it's true, but I'm going by what he said. Who's to say that the three women that approached him, he was attracted to? Now, let's say he was attracted to, 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 to them. Let's say those three women, how do we know where that's going to lead to, right? Now, I'm going to get to that part in a second. But what I want to do to drive this point home about it not being enough is let's say, right? Let's say you have a job. Right. Let's say you have a job and you're making fifty thousand dollars a year. Right. And with fifty thousand dollars a year, you're able to pay your, your your bills. You're able to buy yourself some nice stuff and you, you're able to live comfortably with your fifty thousand dollars. Right now. You say, you know what? This job is cool, but I actually want to start my own business. You know what I'm saying? This job is cool, but I want to start my own business. Now, let's say you said, you know, I'm going to start selling juices, waters, and beverages. That's going to be my business, right? Now, let's say next week, right, you go outside and you go out and you sell 
your waters and your juices and all this other stuff. Now, if you're making fifty thousand uh, dollars a year, right? Let's 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 divide that. Let's do some math here. Let's do some math here, right? So you got fifty thousand dollars, right? Divide that by twelve. That's about four thousand one hundred sixty-six dollars. Let's take off about a thousand for taxes or some shit like that. So let's say about three thousand some dollars you're making a month, right? Now, so. And your job right now, you're making about $3,000 a month after taxes, right? Now, you go out and you say, I want to start this water business or this juice business. I'm going to sell these juices. And let's say the first month you go out there and you make 30 bucks selling your water, right? Then the next month you make $125. Then the next month you make... I don't know, $200, right? Now, are you making enough money for you to quit your job? Think about this. You're making $3,000 a month at your job, which is able to pay all your bills and pay all your rent. Now you want to start your own business and you're selling these juices and waters, but you're only making like 30 to $50 a month. Are you making enough to where you can quit your job? No, you cannot quit your job because you're not making enough. So even though you're making some money, it's not enough for you to be successful and to sustain. So let's take this back to women approaching you. Let's say that a woman is actually approaching you or women are approaching you. Are enough women approaching you to where you can stop approaching women? Huh? Let's think about that. Let's think. I mean, this should be common sense. This should be common sense. You see, guys are like, well, women approach me. Okay, cool. But are enough women approaching you to where you can't, you don't have to approach women. You understand? And they're not. That's the point because you have to understand that is, it is a numbers game on top of a numbers game on top of a numbers game. This is what dudes don't get. See, if you guys check out my, uh, my seminar, the truth about the game, right? There's a part in there where I was talking about the different stages from meeting a woman to sex. You understand? The entrepreneur king is like, fuck a numbers game. There's different stages from meeting women to sex to where this is you meeting the woman. This is where sex is. Now, all this space in between, all this space in between from you meeting to sex is something could happen where you will not have sex with her. This is why you have to play the numbers game. So let's take it off the, the idea of women even approaching you for a second. Let's, talk, let's, let's stick with you approaching women, right? And then we'll take it to the idea of women approaching you because it's still the same fucking shit. So you're outside or you're somewhere. Now, the first step is you got to approach a woman, right? Now you have to get over that fear to approach. That's step one. So if you have the fear of approaching, you're not even going to approach. So therefore, you don't even got step one handled. Now, let's say you do get step one handled and you say, fuck it, I'm going to go approach that girl. So you're walking over to that girl and you're about to approach. That's step one. Step two is you got to talk to her. Right now, in step two, either one or two things going to happen. Either the interaction is going to go in a way where she's feeling it and things will progress to the next step or she's going to reject it. Right. So now if she rejects it, it's over. Now, if she is like, into it, and let's say you give her your number, then cool. Now, step three could happen, which is she could hit you up and you could set something up. But guess what? 
Now, at this point, something else could happen to stop it. What could that be? She could not return. She could not uh, call you. And then it's over. Or on the flip side, let's say she does call you and then you set up a date. So now we're up to step four, which is the date. Now, what could go wrong here? Oh, I don't know. Maybe she could flake. So now if she flakes, you're not going on that date. Now, if she doesn't flake, you'll go on the date. So now you move on to step five, right? Now you're on the date. Now, what, what, what could go wrong here? Oh, maybe there's no chemistry there. Maybe there's no connection. They are not, there's no real like flow in the situation. They're not really feeling each other. And then you never see this girl again. Or let's say that it actually works out. Yeah, y'all feel each other. You like each other. You're probably kissing and all this other stuff, right? And let's say you don't even get to smash that night, but it was a good date. So then let's move on to step six. Seeing her again. Now, what could happen here? She could change her mind and not want to see you. Or she could come see you, right? And you're trying to make sex happen. But then guess what? Even though you want sex to happen, she could change her mind and be like, you know what? I'm just not feeling it right now. I think we got to take it slow. So the reason why I'm going through all of these steps is because I'm trying to get you to understand all of the variables between meeting a woman and getting to sex, right? Now, this is just one avenue you can go on. Now, let's flip it on if a woman approaches you, which hardly ever happens. So now a woman approaches you. Now, what could go wrong there? Oh, well, I'm not attracted to this woman. So does it even matter that she approached me? I don't want this chick. Like, I wouldn't fuck this girl with my enemy's dick. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're just like, I'm not into this woman. So what difference does it make that she approached you? Now, let's say a woman that you're attracted to did approach you. Cool. So let's say I'll exchange numbers. You try to make something happen. Right? Then let's say either you hit her up or she hits you up. And then you try to set something up. And then you're still back on the same trajectory right now. I'm not saying this to say or, 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 or put some doom and gloom on the situation. What I'm saying is, is that what guys think, and I said this in another video, guys think things go from A to Z all the time. It does not go from A to Z all the time. Meaning they think it goes from A straight to Z all the time. Meaning I meet her, I fuck her. She gives me choosing signals, I fuck her. She approaches me, I fuck her. It doesn't work that way. This is what guys don't get. See, they're going straight from A to Z, but they forget about all the other letters in the alphabet. They forget that women are flaky and fickle. They forget that there's women who are time wasters. They forget that there's women who's actually just gonna try to use you for attention and money and all this other shit. You understand? So this is why it's a numbers game on top of a numbers game on top of a numbers game. So even if you're the type of guy who's like, I'm going to wait for a girl to approach me. Okay, cool. Let's say for sake of argument, because let's go with, let's actually go with uh, my dude Jimmy's explanation. He said this week, three women approached him. Right? Now, if those three women approached him, right? Let's say one of those women out of the three he was attracted to, right? One of those three out of the women he's attracted to. But then now what happens is, is that there's that one woman, everything has to go smoothly with that one woman. Do you understand? So now if everything doesn't go smoothly from that one woman, now he has to wait for some other women to come through. But see, what's funny is, is that what Jimmy was doing and what it sounded like was he was exaggerating because look at this again, I'll show you guys again. If you live in Atlanta and you keep yourself in shape, women will approach you daily. When you go to the gym store, et cetera, you don't even have, you don't even have to want to meet anyone. As a matter of fact, that's when it happens more. Now, 
When I asked him how many this week, he said three this week. It is now Saturday. I asked him this yesterday, which was Friday. The week starts Sunday. So that's about five days. So if Jimmy went out five days, there's two days where nobody approached him based off of what he's saying. So a lot of times what happens is when guys are saying this stuff, they're just exaggerating because they want it to be real. You understand? These guys want it to be real. You see what I'm saying? Because they don't want to have to go and approach women. Dudes are like, I want to start, you know, they, they want to start movements now. Like, everybody just don't approach women. Now, this is the funny part that guys don't get. Do you realize if a bunch of guys got together and started a let's not approach women movement, it wouldn't change a thing? I'm going to say that again. If a bunch of guys got together in 201, I'm going to get to your call in a second. If a bunch of guys got together and said, we're going to stop approaching women. We're going to make this a movement. We're going to put this all across America, wherever the fuck it is. It wouldn't change a thing. You know why? Because the guys who would even feel the need to be a part of something like that are the guys that women don't even see, meaning those guys are invisible. You understand? Those guys are invisible. Like, guys, think about it this way. Let's say you had a bunch of, th think about your, your, think about in your mind the most ugliest, unattractive chick you could think of. Think about the, the most unattractive woman you could think of. Like, like, you would not fuck this woman even if I paid you. You would not pay her no attention. You don't want nothing to do with this woman. Think about a woman like that, but think about a large amount of women like that. Think, just think about that in your mind. Now, imagine those women saying, we're going on strike. We're not giving any pussy to any of you guys. We're not going to give any sex to any of you guys. Would you give a fuck? If a bunch of ugly chicks that you had no interest in said, yo, I'm not, we're not fucking you guys. Would you give a fuck? You wouldn't. So what happens is that when guys are saying, we're not going to approach women, the women don't give a fuck because you you were invisible to them anyway. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You're invisible. See, this is what happened with the whole, you know, like guys in the MGTOW shit. Men going their own way. It doesn't matter if you're going their own way because they wasn't fucking with you anyway. Oh! <laughs> they was not fucking with you. They're not, they weren't fucking with you anyway. See, guys who get girls and who know how to get girls approach women. So no dude who can get pussy is going to be like, I'm not approaching women. He might fuck that, that shit is stupid. Why would I not fuck women? That, why would I not approach women? That's how I fuck women. I approach them. You understand? Now, again, are there guys out there who get girls who are checking them out? Because see, I give guys this. If we're talking about choosing signals, yeah, there's guys that's going to get choosing signals. You know, there's guys out there that's going to make it happen, but that's still not something that happens often. But I'm talking about a woman actually approaching you like taking time out of her day to approach you. It's not going to happen because she doesn't have to do it. And it's what I said in another video. She does not have to approach you because there's a bunch of other dudes who are going to approach her. And she's going to go with the path of least resistance. King Cole, call up. Call up, King Cole. Let's get, let's get this cracking. King Cole, let's get, yo, I want all the smoke. You understand? Because, see, a lot of you high-value guys, <laughs> the guys that subscribe to the high-value man stuff, right? You know, the new age high-value man stuff. Dudes be thinking that the girls are supposed to, should be shooting their shot at them and coming at them. It's like, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. 
right? So Magic, the Magic uh, Mel Seducer said, there are a lot of guys who believe in pickup moves with the motto, I can break her someday and she will give me that pussy. Um, hold on. Shout out to my dude, K-Zagging20 in the building. What's going on, fam? What's going on, fam? I'm all the people in the bullshit. It's in the house. <laughs> hold on. Let me see what, what the magic might most of to say real quick. He said, uh, they come with the motto, I can break her someday and she will give me that pussy. They move like a snake to find a way to get that one girl. What is the thing? I understand this. I, I've said this a million fucking times. You cannot make a woman who has zero interest in you want to be with you. It can't happen. It's impossible. Facts. They don't understand that. Now, Facts. what what guys think they're doing, they think that, like, let's say they get with a girl and then she's been, like, kind of playing hard to get and giving them a hard time and making them wait and all this other stuff. He thinks that she wasn't feeling him and then his game made her like him. No. She had some sort of interest in you and all you did was probably increase her interest over a, an extended period of time. You know what I'm saying? But, but King Jack, what's your thoughts on that shit? Dudes don't understand, and, and it's funny because when I did my show earlier, right. I was going in on my own niggas. Like, what the fuck y'all talking about? You know what I'm right. saying? So, <laughs> but 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 my, my point is, you said something very important, L. You said increase interest. Right. But a woman has to have interest for you to increase. Right. <clears throat> Dudes act like there, there could be a woman that has zero sexual attraction for you, mm. and you could just somehow magically make it appear like some genie yeah. in a bottle shit. Right. Hey, it don't work that way. Now mm. you can increase a woman's interest in you. An example, a real quick example of increasing a woman's interest. Okay, if all you money status looks there, right, I'm, I'm gonna help y'all out real quick. Mm. Okay, if you roll up in a club or a bar or some type of festival or whatever where you meet a woman, right, she could be interested in fucking you on the strength of you. Mm. And then when you tell her, hey, let's leave, let's go back to my spot. Let's say she roll up with one of her friends. Like she rolled with one of her friends, and you say, Hey, let's go back to my spot. Um, I got you, I'll take you home. Mm. And you go out to a parking lot and you put her in a hundred thousand dollar car. Mm. That can increase her attraction to you, right? But she was already attracted to you, exactly. Me meaning you could have got the pussy with or without that car, mm -hmm. Facts. but with the car now, but see, this is what guys gotta understand. When we talk about attraction, there's different sides of the coin of attraction. Exactly. There, there are sexual attraction and then there's some other shit. Mm -hmm. and, and that's when you start introducing money and the materialism. Are women attracted to that shit? Yes. No one's ever denied that. Mm -hmm. But nobody wants to fuck with a chick that want to fuck with them on the streets of just money. Right. And, and maybe if you're a trick <laughs> and you ain't got no game, you cool with that. But if you're a real nigga and you got some pride about yourself, you ain't cool with that shit. Okay, Thanks. so so we all know. Okay, so a woman wants to fuck you already, so you introduce her to a foreign. Mm -hmm. Okay, now she's like, oh, oh, I already wanted to fuck him, but he rolling like this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, I, so she's more intrigued. Right. Okay. Then you take her to a crib. You live in a gated community where you got a two car, three car garage. Now she's even more intrigued. Mm -hmm. But this is where niggas get it fucked up. Right. Do you know the more you got it going on? the more you at risk for the chick not wanting to fuck you no more? Because you got a two going on. Facts. They don't, they don't understand that part of the game. Speak on it, dog. You can speak on they don't understand that part of the game because when she see that you got a lot of shit, because look, 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 Arsenal said, high value men have lots of options. <laughs> Y'all don't understand this game, bro. Listen, just like what we saying, if she sees you're that, quote, I put in quotes, high value man, right? She's gonna be like, oh, this nigga got a lot of shit. So let me let me not fuck him so that I can stay longer. That's the strategy. Because if I do fuck him, he might not call me after that because he, he just wanted the pussy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the pussy and then try to fuck him later. You understand? That's the other side of the coin that niggas don't see. Right. Bro, when you and I wish AT was up in there because AT could attest to this. Mm. Okay, because I've been here when 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 my ex wife when she left, we had the the thirty three hundred square foot five bedroom three and a half bathroom crib. I'm living there by myself. Right. Chicks would come to the crib and they would want to fuck, but then they would see the crib and they would ask me, "Do you live here by yourself?" Well, you know, me and my kids, but the kids with their mother, but it's just me. So once they realize I'm the only adult holding it down at that big ass crib, they'd be like, and they would switch up. Right. And they don't want to fuck now because mm. they want to benefit from the crib. They want to be like, oh. Because they would automatically assume 
oh, he got money because he got kids. He, he got custody of his kids. He mm -hmm. lived in this big ass crib by himself. Right. So, oh, he must be paid. He must be doing his thing. If I fuck him now, I won't get the benefit the other side of the coin. Mm -hmm. So let me hold off on fucking. So you can be too on point where the chick don't want to fuck you because your lifestyle is too impressive to her. Right. E e e even if the lifestyle is, is smoke and mirrors, even right. if you look like you got money, right. the fact that she think you do, she can hold off on the ass. So uh, that's why what a lot of guys don't get is women, when it comes to sexual attraction, there's so many variables and, and L speaks on it because he speaks on the low sexual attraction, mm. the medium sexual attraction, high sexual attraction. Exactly. When a chick got high sexual attraction, then that shit don't matter because she want to fuck you no matter what. Exactly. She don't want to miss out on the opportunity to get at you. Right. When the chicks have medium or low, that's when they stall you out. Like, you know, hold on, hold on. I was going to fuck him, but hold on. Mm. He seemed like he might. So when dudes come up with that money shit, that's how I know they don't know what they're talking about. Right. Because if they actually been in that position where women think they had money, they would know that women stall you out for the sex because they think they can get to the resources. Mm. And see, you know, it's funny. Because Chris Blay said, Lakari, you're guilty for using that garbage term, term high value man. See, what y'all don't understand is, is that the term of high value man was actually originally about you valuing yourself and being of value to others. It didn't have anything necessarily to do with anything material. It didn't have anything to do necessarily with anything materialistic or any type of bullshit like that. It was about you and the essence of who you are and your morals, character, value, and what you bring to the world. You feel what I'm saying? Which is what a woman wanted to be around because she saw you as that top tier guy who's about what he's about. It didn't have nothing to do with your money. But see, it, it, it started to become that because this is the thing. It's easier for guys to work to get money than it is to work on themselves. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's why they want to fuck, fuck around with it. But see, if you guys really want to understand about this high value shit, go to badboymembership.com, get the how to be the high value man woman wants uh, program on the bad boy membership. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas been talking about that forever. You feel me? L, do you mind if I do something real quick? And, 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 and this is what I realized. L, look, 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 I'm, I'm, I, got, I got a confession. Look, I got a confession. <laughs> I, I would do certain videos, right? Mm -hmm. I would do certain videos and then you know, I would get certain shit about your videos. Mm -hmm. And it will be like from four or five, six years ago. Right, right. And I'm like, that nigga already talked about that. Right. Because you know, so I, mean? I got videos where I think, I think like, I'm the first nigga to bring this to niggas. And I'm like, Lucario said this six years ago. God damn. You know what I'm saying? So, right. but, but I think what a lot of guys don't understand is that you've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. Is that there's almost no subject you haven't covered. Right. That's what I'm you know saying. What I'm saying? No it's angle you haven't covered. Right. So that's what I'm saying. And it's like, so, and a lot of stuff has been uh, flipped to, to fit a certain narrative for what everybody else wants it to be. You feel what I'm saying? So even when dudes is talking about being on their purpose, you feel what I'm saying? That shit's been, been talked about, you feel what I'm saying? But then they bastardized it into something else. You feel what I'm saying? So that, that's, that's really what happened. But see, now let me bring this, this uh, other screenshot up real quick, because this is what I want guys to understand what I'm talking about niggas be exaggerating this shit. So this is off of the video that I did the other day where I was talking about you're delusional if you think women are going to approach you, right? So this guy says, uh, Derry Do Dom, he says, they approach Chad's, I've seen it, I've heard it, and experienced it myself. <laughs> this nigga. That nigga lying. Because if he experienced it himself, he never would have said, I've seen it and heard it. Yeah, exactly. Because notice that, guys. He said, I've seen it, I've heard it, and experienced it myself. If he's experienced it himself, why does he have to uh, talk about him seeing it and hearing it? Th there you go. You see what I'm saying? He would have just there been like, go. no. He would have been like, I'm a Chad, and I'm getting chicks left and right coming at me, and that would have been the end of the sentence. There Is you it? go. There <laughs> you go. But see, see, this is what I want guys to understand. How you start off your comment mm -hmm. is usually the real truth of it. Exactly. If I thought I seen it. Right. I thought I heard it. Mm -hmm. and, but but what it is is that's not your real experience because and and and, and I'm going uh, uh, back and forth with my brothers. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, on an earlier show. And my thing is, what you think you see is not what you really saw because you don't hear the conversation. Exactly. You don't know what the fuck going. You don't know what's being. 
the, see, it, it, that's like a dude rolling up in a Ferrari and a chick rolling out with. You don't know if they're discussing prices for sex, right? You don't know what they're discussing, and you don't even know the context because, yeah, like, exactly, you know, it could be a situation where you see a dude roll up in a in a fucking uh uh you know fucking BMW or some shit with a bad chick, and that could be his fucking little sister. You don't even know. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you have no idea. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't know. Like, but because they have this belief, L, because they have this belief and they stick to it, what they visually see is their truth. Exactly. Even though they don't actually know what happened or what's going on, because they don't have no real world experiences to draw from. Mm -hmm. So when they say, well, I saw, I observed. Really, you observed? So right. you was right there in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And you heard the guy say, Bitch, I don't give a fuck if I got a Ferrari. You fucking me tonight. I don't give a fuck what I roll up in. Did right. you hear the nigga say that? Right. Exactly. Or, did you hear, or did you hear the chick say, the only reason I'm fucking with you because you got a Ferrari? You don't know what the discussion right. is. The nigga all you, friend yeah. zone. you don't even know. That's what I'm saying. You, you don't know. You all that shit. You have no all idea. You, the, all you saw was a, a dude roll up in the whip and a chick run to him. You mm. don't know if he knew that chick. You don't know if that's his sister, his mm. cousin. You don't know who that chick is. You just saw some shit. And because you have a low self-esteem of yourself, you just assume, see, that's where it is. See, right. I, if, if I can get that, I can do that. And you don't even know the whole situation. Right. Because look, this is another screenshot. Dude said, the game is rigged. Oh, God. I, when Doozy saying this shit, that shit is hilarious. That's the reality. Game is, on, is only an excuse for ugly men to cope with their horrible dating life. <laughs> He said, you're not getting game. You're not getting women because you're lacking game. It's because you aren't good looking enough to these women. Oh, my Jesus. He is projecting. <laughs> See, that's twice in, 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 in two different comments he made reference to appearance. He but, is projecting. It's a, he ain't even using his real picture. He's right, using some right. other shit. So he's projecting because when he really want to say, is I'm ugly, bitches don't fuck with me. I ain't shit. Right. And, and what's so funny is a lot of guys that think they're ugly, they're really not. Right, right. But because you're not getting women, you assume it's because you're ugly. And you know, it's funny. This is what guys don't get. And um, and two, 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 zero one. We're gonna get to you right now after this. What's funny is, and, and I actually talk about this in my new book that I got coming out called "Looks Don't Matter." So make sure you guys check that out soon. But yo, guys, guys forget that women are also insecure. Guys forget that women have big egos. Guys forget that women don't want to get rejected also. So when we're talking about the idea of women approaching you, and I talked about this in the other video, right? If a woman sees a guy and she's physically attracted to him, she's like, oh, this guy look good. He fine as shit, blah, 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 right? In your male brain, you're thinking she is going, you're like, well, why don't she go and approach him? You understand? Because you're thinking if I was that guy, I would want the girl to approach me, Right? But what you're not understanding is, is that that girl isn't going to approach him also because she's intimidated too. She doesn't want the guy to diss her. She doesn't want the guy to uh, ignore her because that's going to be even a crazier blow to her ego because she's stepping outside the bounds of societal programming to fuck with this guy. That's one. Two, sometimes a girl won't even fuck with a guy like that. And this is another part of the game I don't get. Sometimes a girl, a, a, a guy can approach a girl and she could be like in her head, like, damn, this nigga's fine as hell. Right. And she'll reject that nigga. Why? Because she's saying this nigga so fine. I know he got other women and he's going to fuck the shit out of me. I'm going to fall in love with him and then he's going to break my heart. So in order for me to not go through that shit, I'm going to reject him now. This is what you're yes. Oh, look, L, L, you're speaking facts. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and what's so funny is you spoke about this in your videos. You spoke mm -hmm. about how a woman has a type. Right. And how just because you're not her type don't mean she won't fuck you. Right. But if she is your type, which is what you're talking about, mm -hmm. she's really, she, you really got her. If, right. if you're fucking with a chick and you are her physical type, mm -hmm. she's more likely to become dick whipped. Mm -hmm. Than if you're not her physical type, because you exactly what she wants. Exactly. So, so she's more likely to get a little caught up in her emotions 
And a lot of guys don't understand that because they've never been a business type. I got to be honest. And dude's going to get mad at that. But I got to be honest. Right. Because you'll never know what it's like to have a woman obsess over you. Mm -hmm. And she was on some crazy shit where you like you feel like, I'm going to have to call the authorities. I'm, right. I'm going to have to report this. Cause this chick is on me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and 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 that is some crazy shit. Cause because the chick is on you, and you're like, man, she crazy. And it's because it's because of a lot of things, but it's also because you're you're her exact type. Like you are the guy that she wants, like physically, mm. right? And all that. You're the guy that she wants. And on top of that, because you fuck her right and you talk to her right, she you really got her going. Like mm. you, she she just like this is. I finally met my man. I finally met my my baby daddy and my husband, and and you ain't trying to be none of that. Right. So automatically, she felt like a woman scorned because you ain't giving her that type of action. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I just want guys to understand there's levels to this right. shit. Right. Right. Okay. And that's what we don't get. Yeah. That's the part they don't get. And and again, it's just like okay. For example, I said this before. If you are at a party and you see a girl that's a ten, do you always just automatically go and holler at the girl that you think is a 10? No. Why? Because you scared. So if you scared to holler at the 10, wouldn't the girl also be scared to holler at the 10? If you're the 10? Like, like, like this should be common sense. This should be so simple to, to understand. If you're scared to approach a girl, and, and, and mind you, it's socially acceptable for you to approach women. You think the woman who is not socially acceptable to approach a man is going to not be scared to approach that guy first because he's the den and it's not socially acceptable? Like, what the fuck? Oh, it, it, it's you funny know? because I, I hear dudes all the time, L, they complain about not being approached by women. Right. Do you know if you're the guy that elicits a sexual response where women look at you and mm -hmm. want to fuck you on the strength of just how you look? Right, which is rare. Not many. Mm -hmm. Look, let me tell you something. That's not a rare occurrence. Now, some guys for them, it might be a regular basis. Like I, I get this shit at least once a month. Maybe. Right, but but for most guys, they will never experience a situation mm -hmm. where a woman sees them mm -hmm. and want to fuck them on the strength of how they look. Right, so that's why waiting for choosing signals is stupid. Right, because <laughs> uh, unless a chick offers you some pussy, then what does what difference does it make? Right, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So what I got to understand is that. A lot of these women, when they deal with you, when, when they decide to, you know, look at you as a guy they might have sex with, you got you have to talk to them. Mm -hmm. You have to have a conversation because a lot of times a, a woman's decision is based on a man's behavior, which right. is why I don't know you talk about it. L, I talk about it. Miles talk about it. Steve, nineteen fifty, and other people that that fuck with us and rock with us. Your behavior, mm -hmm. your mouthpiece, how you interact with women, that is really the the main thing that decides whether or not a woman wants to fuck with you. Right. Because a lot of times, your look is not enough. Your mm. look may be enough to get a woman curious about you. Right. Oh, he's cute. I, I wonder. I wonder. Mm -hmm. I wonder doesn't mean pussy, nigga. I right. wonder. Exactly right. Okay. But but I wonder can turn into, I'm so, based on right. how you talk and your behavior, which mm. is what we talk about. We hammer home your behavior. We talk about masculinity, assertiveness, decisiveness, transparent, being authentic. That's why y'all niggas gotta listen to that shit. Stop focusing on what you think. Like the gar do think guaranteed pussy. You look good, right? Okay, all right. right. Can now, can a chick wanna fuck with you on your looks? Okay. Yeah. Right. But but, 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 I, but I but I would I would tell you don't talk then. Don't don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. You gonna fuck it up. <laughs> just let it happen. Just let it happen. Y'all yeah. remember? I remember when I was fucking. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. I was probably, but I forgot what age I was. I had to have been at least like. 12 or 13 and i remember i was at my grandmother's house and she lived in brownsville so i was I, I got into the i got into the uh the elevator and then these two girls got in there and it was there was my age too so it was probably like 12 13 and these two girls they they were just staring at me right and so they got off the floor right you know below me or whatever so they got off and i got off the next floor but so as the as the doors is opening right and they got off they one of the girls looked back to me and she was like Oh my God, you so cute, right? So she said that to me and the door's closed. And I was, I was hyped. I was like, oh shit, I'm cute, word? So I'm going into my grandma's house. I'm looking in the mirror, looking at my, my face and shit. I'm like, I'm a cute nigga, right? So from that point on, it was a wrap. Like, so these, these girls got me conceited and shit. Then 
as I was going older and, and interacting with, with chicks, I actually thought that me, women just thinking I look good was, was it. So I had some girls who my looks got me sex or got me hookups. And, but the, 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 the majority of women who told me I was handsome or look good never fucked me. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not always where, because women think you look good, sex is going to happen. You understand what I'm saying? It's not like that. Some women could actually admire how you look and that'd be it because they're not actually sexually attracted to you. And that's the end of it. Right. They're like, oh, you're a handsome guy. And then that's it. We're done. Now, if a woman calls you sexy, though. Right. If you're having a conversation with a woman and she says, damn, you're sexy. Oh, she want to fuck you. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Facts. But, 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 but her calling you handsome don't mean shit. But sexy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go to 201. 201. I'm going to hold for a minute. 201. What's popping? Who this? Yo, salute, K-Zagan and Lucario. This is Tamir in the chat. I hit your cash app, too. Appreciate it, my brother. Appreciate it. Yo, yo, fuck what Jimmy's talking about, man. I, I approached three women in Costco today. And those are women I know I want to fuck. So, fuck that, yo. Fuck all that shit. But, and it made me fucking feel good, too. Right, like, I right. Was fucking, after that, I was fucking complimenting everyone. I'm like, damn, I like your jacket. Those are, those are dope shoes, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, So, people just need to go out and approach, man. It, mm. it, just, it just makes you a better person, I feel like. Right. But uh, the question I have is a little bit off topic. I, but, um, I wanted to hear you speak on it. Uh, I have a a seasonal job, and it's kind of it's mixed. You know, there's women and men there, and there's some girls that I want to get at, but I don't know if I should just hit them with the normal, hey, like I think you're cute or whatever. Like I want to let's get together, let's hang out, let's take my number or whatever, or should I play it slower? Because I'm gonna see them for a month anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like periodically. So. so Hold on. So you said these are girls you work with? Yeah, it's like a uh, a temp job, you know. So I see them once in a while. Like I'll see them repeatedly. Okay, but, so, uh, so I don't know if I should just hit them, hit the girls that I want to hit up with. Like, right. hey, like yo, what's, what's well, good? What's good? Well, well, one thing I say, or whatever, or I, I just shout, play it slow. Shout out to April because April said, "Get the book, How to Have Sex to Women Day," because I got a whole chapter <laughs> in there. The book. Yeah. To, you got it. Then you got to read that chapter again and do that. Do exactly what I say in the chapter. Or, or this is another option you could do. What I would say is, since it's a temp job, I say do it when your job's about to be over. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Because even, even then, you could start get you could start getting some information out of the situation. You see what I mean? Because if you're gonna see them for a month, you could you could talk to them, get to know what their situation is, because. They might have, a, you know, the chicks you're talking about might have a boyfriend, might have some kids. You don't know what the fuck's going on with they with their situation. Facts. Okay, and, and, and let me let, let me hit you with, with, with two little tidbits, caller. Mm. Um, you don't want to fuck with women you regularly work with. You you just right. don't because because you don't you don't know what their temperament. You don't know how they might behave, um, and, and you you don't want to shit where you eat and fuck up your mm. dough. Right. But I, but I would say this because I, I've experienced this personally. Uh, I've worked places where there were women. Who like they gave their two week notice mm. and like their last day or two, they would hit me up in the email. Hey, if you need anything, if you need no, they would hit me up like like I've been wanting that dick from you, motherfucker. So they, right. so they would hit me up on a cool, like, so I ain't gonna be working there no more. You can get this now. So I've had that happen, but also where where I, you know, because I work for I work in corporate America, what I've had happen is when chicks would come from different cities mm. or different countries. And they would they'd be on some training shit. They'd be training or having some type of conference um, at, at at the work. I can't say where I work at, but they 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 would be there, and they would they you know of course the company putting them up in a hotel. Mm. So on that note, like the last couple of days the chick is in town, that's when you get at her. Said, right. We are leaving, leaving again. Mm. So the hotel, or, or they put y'all up on a river walk, or they, or you ever live on the river walk? Or that where you at? Let, let me ask you a question. Have you been out at all? No, I ain't been out. I've been looking for someone to show me the city. I'm your tour guide. Right. I mean, and all of a sudden, you get up in there. That's it. That's it. I'm telling you. So yeah, since you're temporary, bro, just just you know what I'm saying, just do it. Just chill. And 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 because because what happens is something you might even find out you don't want to fuck with this woman. You understand? And so 
you right. you find out more information to where, and that's another thing too, where you got with guys that work, where y'all, because I know a lot of, it's, it's funny, a lot of dudes, you talk about chicks they work with, because it's like, y'all spend a lot of time at work, so it's kind of like, that's your world of women that you got at this point, because y'all not really going out, but this is, which is why y'all should go out more and, and actually spend more time outside of work finding chicks, but if you're at work, the best thing to do is, is learn about the woman, because I remember, man, I, listen, I used to work this gym back in the day, and one of the chicks that I was fucking with at the gym, like the reason why it, it worked out for us, like kind of kicking in and doing what we did was because I learned about her at jo- at the job. Meaning like one, I was kind of like, I'm, you know, and this is what I suggest guys do too, especially if you're going to try to work with uh, fuck with chicks at your job. It, sh- it need to be a chick that's really trying to come at you though. You understand what I'm saying? In most cases, like right. she, she, like she got to be coming at you in most cases she got to be a freak. You understand yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Because the girl that I fucked with at my, my old job, one of the things that made me even deal with her in, in any capacity was because she told me, this is what she told me. She told me how she sucked off some dude in the, in the fucking, uh, you know, changing room or some shit. You understand what I'm saying? So Word. I was, and, this, <laughs> and this is another dude that was working there too. So I said, oh, so you, okay, so this is how you get down. Okay, this is great. So now I see that you get down like that. So if I get down with you, it ain't going to be no problems. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So you got to know this type of information to see who you fucking with. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what you got to see. You feel me? But, but Al, it's funny though. You 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 gotta you, you gotta be a man about your shit because you have dude be like oh this is how you get down I thought man you gonna have something special no, he damn gonna be, he gonna be like this oh, another car over another female again yo. <laughs> that's gonna when be you the- out there doing what you doing bro I never <laughs> talked to no bitches bro I didn't fuck <laughs> nobody I never that's went- gonna be the- <laughs> that's how it gonna be but when you dealing with see you play the right when you are dealing with a freak at work you be like I want the same type of treatment you gave that nigga exactly so fact I want to get sucked off too exactly <laughs> fact but without no emotions to it right you know what I'm saying so you got to know who you fucking with bro you feel me yeah you're speaking fact man because I mean I do this job every year it's not my main job and I don't like to mess with women I work with right. but you know it's a fucking temp thing mm. so I got with some women pre in previous years. It was the same exact fucking thing. Mm. She was like talking all this shit about, oh, I went on the tour bus. Like she's like a groupie, basically. She's like, yeah, I met this man. And I went on the tour bus and basically the rest was history. Mm. And I was like, oh, oh, I know what you're fucking talking about. Right. You fucking sucked and fucked your way through that tour bus. <laughs> and, you know, I fucking got with that chick. But you, but so you, 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 sound, you, sound, you sound mad annoyed. You sound mad annoyed, though. You sound mad annoyed that she fucking sucked her way through the tour bus. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't be annoyed by that. Okay, look, 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 look. I, mean, I listened to her and I fucking, you know, I heard her story. I'm like, all right, cool. He, you like he that? sounded like he got some vitriol in his voice. Like, he, <laughs> yeah, he, he feels some type of way about you fucking sucked your way. Look, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. See, that, yeah, yeah, y'all thinking, y'all thinking the wrong way. When y'all know women get it in, you, you got, you got to harness that shit. But like, oh, you do that? Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, what? You what? do that shit? You, oh, you freaky like that? Like I remember one time a, a chick told me that she had she had this dude that uh fucked up with a bottle, a 12 ounce bottle, and made her come. She said, I came all in that bottle, Carrie. So I went to the store and got got a six pack of beer. <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, one of these bottles is gonna make you come like that nigga made you come, bitch. Exactly. Like, yeah. that's, that's how I looked at the shit. That's what dudes don't get. I'm telling y'all, let, let me give y'all some game. When a chick lets you know how sexual she gets, you have to encourage it, my niggas. <laughs> I, I meant to do the hand clap. My bad. <laughs> they gotta encourage that shit. They gotta encourage that shit. You understand? You gotta, you know, like, you know, like when, you know, like when you're talking to somebody and like you, you, you say, like a person says, you know, they say, oh, where you from? And then you like, oh, I'm from Brooklyn. Where me too? I used to live. You gotta act like you, you excited, like y'all got something in common. Oh, you, wait, wait a second. You, you 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 was fucking and sucking uh uh, uh you know and being freaky in in the back room word that y'all be doing shit like that too word let's make that shit happen together it was good like 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 uh, uh K Zagan says let's be hosts together you know what I'm saying that's how you gotta do it <laughs> but see but see y'all, a lot of y'all guys y'all be getting weirded out by that shit you be like wait a second so you you mean to tell me you like you is that how you get down like are you like 
You know what I'm saying? And then you start you start calling up the show sounding like this. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my God, Facebook, help me. That's what happens. I, just, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> All these months I've been dealing with her. And I just thought she was official. <laughs> she lied to me. That's gonna be our niggas. <laughs> See, L, L, what it is, what it is, these niggas is looking for the loving side of women. I'm looking for the freaky side of women. Right. You know right. I'm looking for that shit. Right. The other shit, if it comes about, cool. But I'm looking for the other shit that I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and, and dudes, a lot of y'all, you know, because y'all so desperate for female companionship, you know, y'all look for the emotional ties to a woman. Mm -hmm. I ain't looking for shit emotional. Now, it doesn't mean that it can't get to that point. Mm. But that that ain't my aim. That ain't my goal. My thing is, I'm all about letting women be who the fuck they are. Right. If she all these, yeah. If she tell you that freaky shit, just be like, word. Um, tell word. me more. Tell me more. Let's, let's yeah. talk about this. You know what I'm saying? Like all that shit you like to do, we gonna do that. You like be like, wait a second, you suck, you suck this dick, really? You start, you start zipping down your your, your zipper, like really? Can you, show me can, you, can you show me exactly how? You suck the dick. I, I'm just curious. I'm just gonna know how was it just the tip? Did you go all the way down? Could you could you no, sort of no, explain no. it to me and just give me a little or, tutorial of how you suck the dick? Oh, oh, if they say he didn't even put his pants down, I stuck the dick through the zipper. I'm yeah. like through the zipper. Now yeah. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I can fit my shit in the zipper or not. Right. I, I might have to loosen a button to make a little room. But, right. but hold on, we we gonna we, we gonna try to 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 to, to kind of do that and reenact. Exactly what you did, but I just need a little more room than that nigga had. Right, you can be, you can be like, wait a second, you, are you telling me you just you just grabbed the guy's dick while he was wearing the the fucking uh, 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 sweatpants? I, I'm wearing sweatpants right now. Could you wait a second? Wait, how, oh, show me how you did it real quick. Like when you grabbed it like that. Oh, tighter. That's oh. what we talking about. Tighter, like y'all got Y'all got to participate. You understand? What I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt. Y'all got to participate. So call her. All I'm saying, <laughs> when you read these freaky chicks, man, or you find out if the chick is on some freaky shit, then you just participate with that shit. Because those are the best type of chicks to fuck with anywhere. You understand what I'm saying? That's the best type yeah, of I chicks know. to fuck I with know. anywhere. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right, my brother. Appreciate the call, man. I'm a holler. Peace, peace. Right. But yeah, that's not that's some real shit, though. Y'all guys, y'all got it. I'm telling y'all. Y'all be trying to run away from the pussy. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta dive into it. Y'all gotta embrace it. You gotta embrace it. You gotta embrace the sluttiness. You know what I'm saying? Because dude, because like you said, a chick will say some shit like that, and dudes be under they they, they whole breath. They got that like judgmental, fucking weird, like oh, you know, like so you you did what? Like you know? What I'm and, and, and what it is? What it is? What's so funny about these dudes? Which, which I laugh at the shit. And mm. on one hand, I laugh at it. On the other hand, it kind of bothers me about men. Mm. Because men haven't evolved the way they needed to, but just because she's that way with you doesn't mean she's that way with everybody. Right? Exactly. exactly. Okay. Because a, a chick could have made she she could have met twenty dudes in two months, mm. but she's only showed three of them her sexual side. Right. Okay. Exactly. Why can't you be one of the dudes? Now that doesn't mean that you used to think you're special. I don't want dudes to think you're special because you're fucking a bitch. Mm. But at the same time, understand that not all women treat everybody the same. Right. So if you're the type of guy that get a different type of treatment than other guys, then learn how to look at yourself and be like, I'm that nigga. Right. I can have her breaking her rules for me, whereas she won't break them for nobody else. Mm -hmm. and, and this word, we're talking about game. We're talking about self-confidence, a sense mm -hmm. of self-value, self-worth. We're talking about you just understanding. Because like, I know y'all listen to Carter. Carter think he the shit. Like, he think he the man. Like, That's you know, what I'm saying. Because no doubt. look, you know, it's funny. I almost feel insulted when a chick ain't trying to Make it happen with me, cause I'm like, I'm like, I know you fucked with other niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I know you fucked with. I know you met some dude at some point that got you turned on so much that you wanted to mess with him right now. Yep. And so if if I'm fucking with you and that ain't happening, I'm like, what? Like, wait a yeah. second. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and, and why the car? Because like I'm, I'm sexy than that nigga. I'm better than that nigga. That's that nigga ain't got shit on me. So if you fucking that whack ass nigga, you should be fucking me. Exactly. Now, if you ain't thinking like that, then you fucked up in the game. Right. That's what I'm saying. But dudes be like, oh, she's a slut. I don't want to do her. She does that to every other guy. She's nasty. Oh my god. I can't <laughs> fuck with her. She she can't pair bond. Look at her body count. Like I'm like, come on, man. Y'all motherfuckers, it's crazy. Uh, here. Let's go to good. let's go to three three one six. Three one six was popping. Who this? 
Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. My brother, did you donate? Yeah, yeah, on Cash App. Just TJ. <laughs> Appreciate it, my brother. Appreciate it. What's yeah, going yeah. on? Real question, though. Real question. So I ain't, I ain't as blessed as some people. What are you supposed to do if yo, you know, downstairs area ain't that big and like girls make fun of it and shit? <laughs> Hold on, nigga. Hold real, on. Question, real question. <laughs> It's no, I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to laugh at you, but I, I, I'm just not used to dudes. I'm not used to dudes saying they make fun of you, like because because your shit ain't packing. Um, <laughs> goddamn. Yeah. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Call it. See, I, I don't know if you're a troll. If you're a troll, I'm, I'm really gonna hate you for this, bro. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm about to give you some no, shit. No, no, for real though, like, I, I, you know, not to interrupt, but I pulled down my pants one time, and the girl laughed, and like, she like liked it, but. You know, it was like kind of fuck with me, really. Yo, wait, hey, so what, <laughs> what did she say? Really? Like, you pulled out your pants, and you just started laughing and pointing. What did she do? Well, like, like she like kind of like made like a laugh and then stopped herself and then like straightened her face. But I could tell that she wanted to laugh and shit. Oh! Okay. <laughs> All right, man, this is embarrassing, man. Man, I want to hang hey, up. Hey, 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 I'm, I'm going to let you handle this first. I'm going to tell me what to do. Hold on, hold on. We, we fucking with you. We're, we're real talk. Okay. <sighs> okay, so let me ask you a question. How many how many chicks you fucked in your life? 19. Okay, so you fucked, about nine, you fucked 19 girls. So how many of those girls laughed yeah. at your dick? Uh, only, uh, only that one, really. So, oh man! Oh, you, can't be, you, can't be, you can't be worried about that shit. Oh. So what? So what makes you? So what? This because right, because one girl did that. Now you feel in some type of way. Bro, you can't. Oh my god, bro! You can't be worried about that. Yeah, shit. yeah. So so really, it just comes down to confidence, right? Yes, sir. Well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question about this chick. Where did you meet this chick, and how long yeah. did it, how long did it take for you to smash? I met her on a on a dating app on Mimi, and mm. I picked her up. And you know, I used to smash her like right away, but I like to to fill out a chick a little bit, so mm. I smashed her on the second on the second time meeting up with her. Okay, so the second time you met up with her, so the first time you met up, what'd y'all do? Y'all went to go get drinks or something like that? Y'all went to go on a date? What'd y'all do? No, we just. We drove around. Uh, I don't really like to be going to clubs and stuff. Mm. So yeah, drove yeah, just so drove, around drove around and, and talked. Talk okay, and then and then the second yeah, and I'm a photographer, so I... right. Okay, and so the second time you saw you met her, so the second time you went to see her, did she come to your place? You went to her place. Which one? No, I went to her place and took some some sexy photos of her. Okay, and then and then you pulled yeah, out, and the... then after that, uh, you know. After that, I made her because you know I I like it whenever they say it. So like, I gave her the ammunition. She just had to shoot it. Mm. So basically, I was like talking to her, and then out of the blue, she was like, "I really want to fuck the shit out of you right now." Okay, and then so after you pulled down your pants and she laughed at you, did y'all still have sex? Yeah, yeah, we did. But the but uh, here's the thing though. She sent she sent me a a fucking emoji of a shrimp. After that, this nigga fucking lying. <laughs> this nigga trolling. This, this nigga trolling. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! This nigga trolling. Look, look, call her, call her. Yeah. Women, women, women generally are not that cruel. Yeah. Women generally are not that. They won't go out of their way to like talk bad about you exactly. unless, uh, 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 unless you did something to fuck them over. Then, right. then, then, best off. Women gonna say everything about you. Right. Right. Is the nigga <laughs> Get out of here, you damn nigga. <laughs> women aren't that cruel, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. He said he like it. I was like, this dude. Yeah, this thing. Women, look, look. Hold on, real quick. Because a lot of y'all like to talk shit about women. Mm. And I'm not to say I'm not gonna say women can't be cruel because they could be some cruel motherfuckers. Right. But but women typically aren't cruel just out the blue. Right, and they're typically cruel because they they think you did something to fuck them over because they're a woman scorn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right, and and then, and then oh oh they gonna get at you then, but 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 typically because you didn't fuck a bitch right, she ain't gonna be all at you getting at you. A lot right. of times, 
women really want to put bad dick behind them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to relive it. They mm -hmm. just want to be like, I regret fucking that motherfucker. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? And they want to put your ass behind them. You know, so, it's crazy, like dude, dudes who don't be having uh, experience with women try to, they love to paint this like super evil woman uh, uh, narrative. You know what I'm saying? All the time. And the thing is, like you said, women could do some crazy ass shit, but usually crazy ass shit happens usually after a dude done did some re retarded ass nonsense. You usually, go. you feel what I'm usually, saying? Usually. And so, and, and so what happens is that's usually what happens. It's not like dudes be, dudes almost be making it seem like out of the blue, women just be acting crazy. This is why guys be talking about, oh, well, if you approach a girl in the street, she's going to go and get the cops and say he was, was harassing her. It's like, Ain't no woman doing that. No, no, First of no, all, no. no woman has the time to do that. You're not that important for her to even bother. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, I've never had that happen to me. You know, I've never, and we've never. dealt with thousands of women between us. Never, never had that happen. Right. So it, it's bullshit. It's theory. Right. It's That's what I'm saying. Like dudes be, dudes be coming up with all these cockamamie things because they start to have an idea of what they think women are. And then they start creating these theories of what's happening, but it's not actually happening. You see what I'm saying? Because even, and you know what's funny about all this stuff? When you break it down to, like, logic and reality, it don't even make sense. Because if I walk down the street right now, like, let's say I'm in Manhattan, and I'm in Times Square, and I holler at a girl, right? And let's say I'm, like, on 48th Street and shit. And now there's an actual police station on, like, 42nd Street, right? Now, I'm on 48th Street. That's six blocks, you trying to tell me, what is she going to say? Hey, Locario, stand right here, and I'm going to go get the cops, and then I'm going to come right back. Or she's going to grab my hand and say, walk with me here to the cops so I can, like, it, it don't make sense. Real, real quick, L, let, let, me, let me address something. Light bringer or whatever the fuck. No one has said anyone had a thousand women. We said we've dealt with a thousand women. Y'all motherfuckers are so fucking retarded. Look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, see, and, 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 and that's how I know niggas ain't getting no pussy because they hear a number and they just emotionally react to a number. Right. I said, between us, we've dealt with thousands of women. Not right. a thousand, nigga, thousands. Right, exactly. So between us, it doesn't mean we've had sex with a thousand women apiece. Right. It just means we've dealt with, man, we, like, we in our 40s, both of us. Right. Exactly, right. We've I've been, dealt with thousands of women. I've been fucking with chicks since I was like, what? 13, 14, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so, so it's the same age. So the, the, what a lot of these guys is, they haven't dealt with 10 women. So when right. I hear thousands, they're like, impossible. Right. I'm going to bullshit on that. Right. <laughs> like, come no, on, man. I, I used to do this thing, and I talked about this in the, in the, uh, the my Bad Boys Got to Dating DVD, where I would basically stack dates on, on, on in one day. Like, I would go, like, I would literally have like three or four coffee dates in one day. You understand what I'm saying? And then, I, and I would, I would place the girl I really wanted to see, like my favorite girl out of the four at the end. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's the one I was going to spend the most time with. You feel me? And, so, and the one you're most likely to have some sex with. Exactly. Yeah. So what I would do is, right, so what I would do is, is that I, I would go to, I would have uh, like two or three different Starbucks and I go to this one right here at 1 p.m., so I hang out with her from like one o'clock to like maybe two o'clock, then from two thirty to like three thirty, then the next one from like four. You understand? So I had the whole day mapped out. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. So that, that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like it's, I used to stack them shits. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Then it got to the point where I would stack sex. You feel me? <laughs> oh, and when you get to that, see, when you get to that point now, and you, of course, you've been there. Right. You know, when you get there and you can do that shit consistently, mm. that's when you know I, I, I'm on a whole different level than I used to be. Right. Okay. Because I know you got your book, right. How to Have Sex with Two Women in a Day. And right. get that book, How right. to Have Sex with Two Women in a Day. Right. And, and a lot of guys think it's, 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 it's some bullshit, but it's not. Right. When you're dealing with multiple women, you actually could have sex with two, three, four women in one day. Right. Now there's some dirty niggas that don't wash their dick off, but <laughs> but you can still you can still pull that off. I've had sex with, with two plus women a day. I, I've done that. And it's a it's a beautiful thing. It's really a beautiful thing where you young normally happens when you're younger, but yeah, that's a young that's a young boy game. Yeah, I, yeah, young boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it happens when you're younger, especially in your 20s. It right. happens when you're younger, and not to say it can't happen in your 30s and beyond, 
But typically, when you talk about two women a day, in fact, a lot of guys want to have sex with as many women as they could in one day. If, right. if you can have sex with three or four or five women in one day, most dudes would try to do that. If, mm. if you're about that life, though. Right. You know what I'm right. And, and, and it's kind of fun, to be honest with you. I can't. But, but make sure you be careful, guys. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> be careful. You feel me? You so I'm just saying. Yeah. But uh, but let's go to seven two six, and then we'll get to the question. This question in a second. Seven two six. What's going on? What's popping? Who this? Hey guys, how big is your dick? This nigga, he just want me to hit the button. Get out of here, you damn nigga! All right. So uh, Steven says, "What to do if I have a woman ask me for money to pay for her rent just to get some type of sexual intercourse?" Hey, you have a you have a horror on your hand, sir. You have a horror on your hand. Look, look. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, when you deal with women, when you, when you have enough experience and you deal with women, you can kind of tell what the woman may expect from you, right? And, and, and when when all the woman wants is your time and dick, that's a beautiful thing. Like, what you want from me? It's time and dick. Oh, oh, I, I could do that. But then when chicks start asking this goofy shit of mm -hmm. you, now. The fact that you're even asking this question. Right. <laughs> hey, little nigga. Go down, Sarah. How the fuck you gonna creep up here like that? Hey, it, 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 anyway, god damn it. Anyway, so my point is, I'm talking about shit he shouldn't be hearing. But my point is, is if, if you're gonna have a, a chick try, if you're gonna have a woman even try to present that to you, right? That tells you what she thinks about you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Steven, no T or whatever you're no D or whatever. Yeah. When a woman comes at you like that and you feel like you're about to have a transactional situation, she's telling you exactly what she thinks about you. Right. That's facts. You got it, L. That's facts. Let's go to uh three three one zero three one zero. What's popping? Who this? Oh, I'm just calling in. Hey, can we hear a rosebud scene from the um from the documentary? <laughs> this what I got, nigga talk that shit. I got you, brother. Hi, how you doing? You think okay. I give a fuck about how you doing, bitch? All I want you to motherfucking do is open your mouth and say something so I can hear how your voice sounds so it can tell me how the fuck to get at you. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right. You just want to hear Rosebud spit that ism. Man. Hold on. Nigga. Hold on. Nigga say I'm babysitting. <laughs> nigga, I'm, I'm a father, nigga. I ain't babysitting. Nigga, I'm a daddy, nigga. That's what I do, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> but that, that, that's some funny shit. Look, I ain't even offended by that because that's actually some funny shit. That's some funny shit because I didn't expect that little nigga to do that. You know what I'm saying? So me and him gonna have a little conversation later on. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that shit is too funny, man. Oh my god! But yeah, I'm telling you, like, listen, see, we're not like, I, I, look. The, the funny part about all this shit is, man. You know, this is the ironic part about all this, right? When you start, when you're able to have sex a lot of sex it it almost dissipates the magic of it you understand what i'm saying like this is why like you know when dudes be talking about soul ties and you know oh i can't you know all that bullshit that's motherfuckers who put sex on a pedestal you understand what i'm saying yep sex is a yep. fucking activity you understand yep. what i'm saying it's an activity just like any other activity but it just produces different types of results you understand? So if I eat, right, when I eat, what will happen is that's an activity I'm doing. I'm eating food, goes into my digestive system, and I shit it out. You understand what I'm saying? If I have sex, my dick goes into a vagina, sperm comes out the, the dick, and it can go into the vagina and make a baby. You feel what I'm saying? No doubt. It's like it's not special. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's not special, people. <laughs> Let, let, let me say this, um, Zadi Cherry, bro. It's all. For, look, let me let me tell you, motherfucker, something. I can take a joke. If y'all pay attention to the uh, real game, no theory. Mm -hmm. Steve always got to sit in the window where I was the creep dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I can take a joke. I, I don't mind being laughed at. I don't mind. You know, I ain't got no problem. I ain't one of them niggas that be all emotional. Why y'all laughing at me? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Be serious, nigga. I'm gonna kill all y'all right now with a gun because y'all ain't y'all laughing at me. I ain't one of them niggas. I can take a joke. I'm good. I'm good. Let's go to three three six one three six one. What's popping? Who this? Hi, this is Asia Smith from the chat. Oh my god! Get out of here, you damn nigga! I already know that's a fucking listen. Y'all can't be up here sounding like you know what I'm saying like like if you if you don't know how to sound like a chick, 
and troll correctly. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even bother calling in, man. Uh, so Platinum Shore says, uh, does it matter what your opener is? If yes, what makes a good opener? Oh, y'all killing me with this shit. Oh, y'all can't be. Gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Oh, my God. Look, look. Lucario can give y'all a banging opener that he uses. Right. I can give you a banging opener that I use. But because it's not naturally you and you wouldn't naturally say it, mm -hmm. it, don't, go, it don't go right. See, right. Here, here's the thing. It's all I got to understand. When you talk to women, women can tell. Do think women are dumb. Women are not dumb. Okay, women study men. Do you understand that? Mm. Women study men. They they can tell by how you interact with them and how you behave, mm. whether or not you're trying to be someone you're not, or whether or not you're comfortable in your own skin. Right. I, I need guys to understand that. So it's not about a lot. Like I, I don't do lines. Okay, and I know L. And, and I, I want to make this distinction because I know L. He talks about the the um, online dating game, right? Where right. you have a, where you have a thing that you copy and paste. That's different. I'm not talking about that. Mm. Okay, I'm talking about when you first walk up and start talking to women. When you've been in the game long enough and you understand people, you're not going to always open up the same way all the time. Right. Right. Sometimes it's a feel. It's a feel. Number one, it's a mood that you you might be in a mood that you're in before you even talk to a bitch. Mm -hmm. You're already in the mood. So because of your mood, you might be in a frisky, I want to fuck mood. Right. So your opening may be geared to that. Mm -hmm. Or you might be in a I'm a chill mood. I ain't even tripping. If I fuck, I fuck. If I fuck up, I, I fuck up. If I don't, I don't. So your opening might be geared to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you you kind of just it's a vibe that you have because you know yourself the way you do. And you understand women, and you understand the the, the environment, and, and and all that type of shit. You may have a certain way that you just come out the gate with it, right? Um, like I don't have the same way. Okay, to me it's a feeling. Like I, I'm I might be out, and my nigga, I don't want to be out. Like my nigga be like, Carrie, man, man, get out, man. You ain't been on a while. I'm like, oh, man, fuck it, I'll go out. My opener is gonna be different than where the, well, I'm excited. I'm trying to get these hoes. Where the hoes at? Okay? Right. So so my mind and my opener is gonna be different. How I react and how I come at chicks is gonna be different. Gonna, I'm gonna be more hype than mm. I would more laid back than the other way. So I just want guys to understand that. Stop trying to have openings. Just, just be you. This is this this right here is a good opener. Hi, how you doing? You think I give a fuck about how you doing, bitch? <laughs> All I want you to motherfucking do is open your mouth and say something so I can hear how your voice sounds so it can tell me how the fuck to get at you. <laughs> and I'll say this real quick, and we'll get to seven five seven. Uh, this is the thing, man. Like, 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 like he's was saying is that you gotta understand that it's not necessarily about an opener because it's it's almost like if you're if you're if you're looking at the opener, right, as a uh, as a as the thing that's really the thing that's gonna make things happen, you're missing the whole point of the entire situation. The whole point of the entire situation is for you to be in the moment. And 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 do as the moment, do what the moment needs to be, you know, do what needs to be done in the moment. That's what I'm trying to say. So, so what I'm saying is, is that you could literally say anything. You could say hello, that could be your opener. You could say what's up, that could be your opener. You could say, damn girl, you sexy as shit. What's your name? That could be your opener. You could say, hey, what's what's that? What's that uh you know scarf you're wearing? That looks nice, that could be your opener. Whatever the fuck could be your opener. But what happens is is that you have to be comfortable. In what you're saying, in whatever it is you're saying, in order to get across, you understand what you're trying to get across. And so, the, what happens is this: for a lot of guys who are scared to approach women, right? I can teach you how to uh, open a conversation indirectly because that saves you from getting rejected in most cases. You understand what I'm saying? Up front, it saves you from getting rejected quickly. So that'll shield you from that. Meaning, for example, you saw a girl you wanted to talk to, talk to her, but you were scared to get rejected. You could approach her and say, hey, do you know where such and such bar is? I'm, you know, I'm looking for this around here or whatever. Right. So that's your opener so that you're talking about the bar. She might say, oh, I don't really know where that is. Or, oh, yeah, I know it's that way, blah, blah, blah. And based off of how she's coming at you and how she's responding to you, it'll show you her level of interest in even saying anything to you. And then you could probably proceed. But either way, that's that's some basic shit that you could do when you're scared to, to approach a girl. But in general, you want to get to the point where 
You're not even thinking about what's the opener because the opener is whatever it is at the moment. It's whatever I feel at the moment. You feel what I'm saying? You That's said it. something. You said That's something it. very important. Mm -hmm. You said the moment. Right. I, I think, look, look, the essence of game is not just saying the right thing at the right moment. Mm -hmm. It's understanding the moment. Mm -hmm. It's understanding at the moment. And it's about timing. It's about, right. okay, like, like I, a real quick example. And, and Lacar, you've been in so many positions, you, you, you understand this. You can just walk up to a chick and be like, I'm gonna fuck you. Right. And it might work for that moment, depending mm -hmm. on the vibe you got from her. Right. And there's other chicks where you're gonna be like, hey, how you doing? My name is L, my name is Lacar. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, you know, I'm the bad boy of dating game. What's good? Right. How you doing? You doing good? Oh, what? You think I'm sexy? Oh, speaking of sexy girl, look. Right, exactly, right. You want to see how sexy I really am. No, I'm and then you take it to another level, but that's understanding. And I, I think, L, you said it, you talked about social intelligence. Right. Social awareness. That's mm. you just understanding the moment. Right. And then you executing, all right, I always got some shit in the bag. Exactly. Like, like I don't even got shit caught. Like, I, I just bring in a bullet that wasn't there before. Like, I, hey, this shit, she said something that I, I wasn't said to me before. But because I'm so ready, I'm ready to respond to that. Exactly. And a lot of guys, a lot of you guys, you're not ready to respond. We talk about witty shit. Just being mm -hmm. in the moment and being able to respond. Because you're not used to dealing with women. You're not witty. And you can't. And I know, L, you get a lot of calls where she said this and I didn't know what to do. Right. Because you, know you, know, you know what it is? Like, do you know, like, for example, you can't just go run a marathon. You understand what I'm saying? People have to train to run a marathon. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that a lot of times, the reason why y'all have issues talking to women is because y'all ain't got no training, meaning y'all haven't been out there talking to women. So part of what makes it you, you, you part of what makes you better at talking to women and interacting with women and getting things, uh, getting things going and, and getting things happening in the way you want it to is because there's certain things you're going to know about women because you've been talking to women, meaning that there's a certain look that a girl will give you that will indicate to you and tell you this girl want to fuck. So now, oh, I could just simply transition a fucking conversation to this right here. This is and this you can stop like, talking about the bullshit you was talking about. This is simple. And get straight to the yes. This is simple. You're like, oh shit. You're like, okay, I see this girl want to fuck. You understand what I'm saying? Like I've been, I've been on dates like that where, um. Like I met a girl for a drink. I'm like, let me go meet her out for a drink real quick or whatever. And we're talking. We only been talking for maybe like five minutes. You understand what I'm saying? But I can tell by the way she's sitting, the way she's looking at me, the way she's responding to me. I'm like, yeah, she's 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 done. Like whenever I want to make this happen, we gonna make this happen. So it, 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 it makes you cut your conversation short and transition to be like, I see what's going on. Let mm -hmm. me get to that point. Right. Exactly. And, that, and that's the thing where you notice that because you've been in the situation, you've been trained in the situation to recognize those signs. You understand? Because what's funny about it is that dudes be always talking about choosing signals. There's a lot of choosing signals niggas don't even know about. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how you trying to wait for choosing signals, but you don't even know what to look out for? Dudes only think choosing signals is a chick just looking at them. They don't even know there's other, there's other forms of choosing signals. You understand what I'm saying? They don't understand that. Uh, uh, K-Zag, you, you're on mute. Oh, my bad. No, and that's where it is, L. There's, look, me and L, we could sit there, we could sit here and talk for hours about the mm -hmm. subtleties and complexities of the game, all the different vibes that women give off, all the different things you can see right. where you know she's down the fuck, but you, you got to pay money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but but there, there's so much different shit, but guys, see, guys want guarantees. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they want a chick to lick her lips and, and, and rub her titties, and they want all that type of shit, and women ain't going to do all that in right. those cases. But there's other things they would give off, but here's the clue, though. They expect men who are gamed up to know what they do. Exactly. And those are the guys that fuck. The guys, see, women, this, this is so funny, because guys be like, oh, women don't uh, approach men, or, or women don't let women or men know they have sex. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. it's just They just don't say, I want to have sex. But there's other things that they do to let you know. Mm -hmm. But they, they understand that guys that are gamed up will understand the signals they're sending out. Right, exactly. Exactly. Because like uh, Tata said, what are the other choosing signals? I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you one of them. And I talked about this before too. And um, hold on. Seven, 
Seven five seven. We're going to get to you in a second. So one uh, one choosing signal, and also this too. This is the, another thing I'll say about choosing signals. Do you guys understand that sometimes you're not going to get certain choosing signals until you approach the girl first? So meaning that a girl isn't even looking at you or giving you any type of signal to approach or whatever it is like that. And then once you approach a girl and talk to her, then the choosing signals start in the conversation. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is some choosing signals you won't even get until you're having the conversation with the woman. You understand what I'm saying? Hell. <laughs> I'm going to tell them why. I'm going to tell them why that don't happen. Because most women are not coming out horny. Right. They're not coming out wanting to fuck. Most women want to be sexually desired first. Mm -hmm. Right. Then that's when they give you the shit. Mm -hmm. So when a guy say, oh, I don't want to approach women or I don't want to give women validation. Right. Is most women, when they get horny and want to fuck, is because they were sexually desired first exactly so that means you'd have to give them validation first but see you would you would need to understand the game to know that you see what i'm saying but this is why we do you see do you guys see why we be laughing at niggas you understand what i'm saying because they be talking shit and they don't know what the fuck they talking about (laughs) you see what i mean like this is what i'm saying where there's certain signals like for example when you're if you're talking to a girl right and you're having a conversation with her, right? There's certain things that she'll say or there's certain ways that she'll look at you that's showing you that she's choosing up on you. You understand what I'm saying? So, for example, if you're talking to a girl and having a conversation with her, right? And let's say you flirt with her and all this other stuff. She might say something like, oh, I hope you I hope you don't think me and you is going to do this or have sex or do it. Like, she's going to say some sort of thing to allude to something sexual where you haven't, you probably haven't even said anything sexual. You understand? You was just kind of like lightly flirting or whatever, but she brings it up first. And, and sometimes she'll bring it up in the sense of we're not doing this. And what you, you must think you, 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 you think you, you think you some sort of player, don't you? You must say this to all the girls. That's all of that is choosing. You understand what she's saying is, is that she's acknowledging the fact that she thinks that you're that guy. You understand what I'm saying? That's what she's saying. She's saying, oh, you must think you're... No, it's not about me. You're saying that I must think it, but she's saying it because she's thinking it. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you guys have to understand. So it's certain things like that you're going to see in the interaction, right, that you would have not known unless you're having a conversation with her. You understand what I'm saying? Also, another thing, last choosing signal I'll tell you guys, I've talked about this before. If you're at a bar club some sort of event what happens is is that a woman will consistently put herself in position for you to talk to her you understand in proximity you see what i'm saying so what you'll notice is and you got to be paying attention to this is that if i'm standing near the bar right I noticed this girl, let's say she got the re- just some girl in a red dress. You know, I know y'all the niggas like the Matrix and the pills and all that shit. So she's <laughs> the girl's in a red dress. I'm by the bar and I, I notice this girl in the red dress. I'm sipping my drink. Then I go over there to the other side of the, to the room, talk to my boys. Then all of a sudden, the girl with the red dress is standing there talking to her friend. Then I go back to the bar to get another drink. And then the girl in the fucking red dress is right there. You understand what I'm saying? In the vicinity. She's trying to put herself in position for you to approach. That, that's some real shit, though. It, it almost feel like you're being stalked. Like I just right, right, being, right, exactly, but, right. But that's true. You'll see the same chick everywhere you go, right. And or, or you'll see a woman. Um, she'll get next to you and she'll make a conversation about nothing, right? Like, exactly. next to her, and she'll just say, "I heard it's gonna rain today," and I'm like, "What?" Right, right, exactly. Facts. Facts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, look, this is what guys got to understand. Women are more petrified of rejection than men are. Exactly. Because women are typically more insecure. Even though some of y'all dudes, y'all be giving women a run for their money. Mm -hmm. Security and shit. But but a lot of women, they're so insecure. They they, kind of want to say, they want to get what they want, but they want to say face at the same time. Exactly. Kind of like what you dudes do with the indirect shit. Exactly. So a woman will make a random conversation with you about nothing. Mm-hmm. That don't have to do with nothing, and she will expect you to kind of pick up on it and take it where she wanted to go, right. which is normally sex. Right. You know what I'm saying, 
And when you don't pick up on it and you're like, yeah, yeah, the, the time is 12 o'clock. And then she kind of like, are you sure it's 12 o'clock? Right, right. It's 12 o'clock. And you're like, and she, she finished, I, was like, I don't want to know the time. I want some dick, nigga. Exactly. She, he don't get it. He don't she fucking get it. She getting frustrated. That's why she's like. <sighs> That's what I'm saying, bro. So I'm telling you, y'all got to actually be oh, out there to see this and to know this. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all got to be out there interacting with these chicks to know this shit going on. But let's go to 757 real quick. 757, what's popping? Who this? Yeah, man, this is Swayze and I donated on the uh, on the cash app. Appreciate it, my brother. What's going on? Yeah, so I just want to know um, what you would think if this was a low um, interest, medium or high. So what happened was... <clears throat> Wait, hold, hold on, hold on for a second, my brother. Hold on for a second. King Cole, call back. What's the what's the what's the first three numbers of your of your phone number? Call back. Put your first three numbers in your phone number in the chat, and I'll I'll pick up next. But go ahead, uh, go ahead, caller. So yeah, I was going to the grocery store, uh, I think like last week or so, and I seen this girl. And um, as I'm going into the grocery store, I see we both walked in basically at the same time. Um. She was going to the produce section. I was going to the, you know, to the meat market to get me like a salmon, but I wanted me some asparagus. So I was going back to the produce section and um, I seen her and she had like these army type pants on. And so she was thick as hell. So I'm like, I'm going to go holler at this chick. So I go up to her and I just say some random shit. Like I see you got the army fatigues on who you about to fight. And she was like, well, it's not going to be you. I'm like, oh no, you're not. <laughs> That's funny. Said, hey, hey, go ahead. It's not gonna be you. <laughs> now, call her. If you lying, shame on you for saying that shit. Go ahead, go ahead. That's actually some flash shit that she was saying. But go ahead, go ahead. You, you, go ahead. So no, no, I mean, I, I did say it to her. I said to her just like, and I was fly too. I just got a, my hair cut and all that stuff. Like I was looking to myself, looking very, you know, spiffy or whatever. Right. So she was like, no, not with you. I'm like, nah, you want to make love to me? And she's like, oh, really? That's how you coming at me? I'm like, yeah, I'm coming at you just like that. And she's like, oh, okay. I said, how about this, though? I got to go run real quick, but I'm going to give you my number and hit me up. She's like, well, I don't normally take nobody's number. I usually give them my number. I said, well, check this out. Take my number. This is going to be the first time. Right. And so she was like, okay, all right. So she took my number. I left, you know, rung my stuff up, left, got home. She texted me. Mm. So... What happened is when she texted me, I texted her back. I was like, okay. I said, okay, cool. Mm. What you, what's your schedule for, um, I think it was Saturday. Mm. And I didn't get no response back. Mm. So my question to you guys, like, was that low, medium, or high? Like, did I respond too fast? You know, to when she texted me, did I respond too fast? Like, I don't know what happened with that whole situation. So you saying so you so she texted you and then you said and say that again because I, I missed it. My bad. Go ahead, say that again. Yeah, yeah. So so when I told her, I said just take. Well, I said text me, mm. and that way I can you know set up something. Right. And she was like, okay. So we part ways. Mm. And then later on that night, right. She texts me, uh -huh. and that's when I try to set up something for Saturday, and mm. I have not heard from her no more since. I don't know what happened. Mm. And uh, okay, and, and th this happened last night. No, it was last week. Last week. Okay, and you haven't heard from her since. Right. Oh yeah, that's a wrap, right. bro. That's a wrap. It's over, nigga. It's over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I got a video caller. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what the title of it is. Hold on. When she's sexually attracted to you, she doesn't want to wait. Mm-hmm. Right. So hey, look, look. I, I need you guys. Look, I, I need you guys, and I'm not calling. I'm not addressing this to you directly, but I need you guys to, to start having a certain type of standards. When a woman really wants to get at you, she gonna get at you. Right. She can't exactly. wait. She exactly. ain't gonna wait. Mm -hmm. so you gotta be like, well, oh, I ain't free for two weeks. A chick gonna be calling you. You ain't free yet. When you free? You ain't free yet because she want that dick. I'm saying. So I need you guys to understand that when a woman really wants to get at you, uh, and I'm not saying this is gonna be the situation in, in all scenarios. There are exceptions, mm -hmm. of course, but for the most part, you cannot be in a woman's physical presence and she don't. And she want to fuck you, and you don't know she want to fuck you. Right, because the thing is, she yeah, she definitely don't have high interest because she would have responded back. Y'all would have saw each other, and shit would have popped off. 
You understand? So she she had either medium <clears throat> to low interest. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's all it was. You feel what I'm saying? Or it could have been it could have been even no interest. But I, I say it was medium to low interest from what you're saying, because the thing is this: when a woman has high interest, everything runs so smoothly and easily. It's ridiculous. You understand? It's like, it's like ordering pizza. You feel what I'm saying? It runs so smoothly, Al, that you think you you're like this, this this ain't this ain't happening. Like it can't be right. this easy. And right. You, you, you question this shit. Like, why you playing with me? No, right. I, I'm serious. I really want to come see you. You lying? Because <laughs> it's so it's so effortless. It's like it can't be this fucking easy. Right. So, so it is though. I right. Mean, so she wasn't really feeling you like that, bro. Well, shit. I mean, that that I guess that what um. What I where I messed up is not you know noticing that because when I came and talked to her, it seemed at that moment that she was like cooperating. I gave her my number. She texted me. But also, also, I mean, I also, you know, it's funny. Also, if we if we if we think about it, right? Think about what happened um, uh, in the interaction when you said to her, "Oh, are you? Would you say you said I'm uh, who you fighting?" Yeah, yeah, she had the 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 pants, the arm. Right, and what and what, and what was her and what was her fight. response? What was her response? Her response was not you. Exactly. <laughs> That's the red flag. Call her. I just did a video that said, if she doesn't want to be alone with you, leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. Here it is. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get sex from a chick who makes it challenging. But once you get to a certain level of the game, you don't even want to deal with that. Right. And that's and that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is a woman who has high interest is always going to be smooth sailing from the jump without any waves. You feel me? It's going to be straight to like, you understand what I'm saying? And because the fact that she was like, oh, not you, because even when you said it, I could already hear the attitude in her voice. And I, I wasn't even there. I could already hear it. You know I know it wasn't. It, 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 it wasn't an attitude per se. Like she was smiling when she said, "Not you," and that's yeah. when I was like, "No, you don't want to fight with me. You love, you love to me." Oh, okay, okay. All right, so, all right, so, so she was smiling, and, and you said, "What after that?" I said, "No, you don't want to fight with me. You want to make love to me." And then, what was her response after that? And she was like, "Oh, okay, that's how you're doing it." And I said, "Yeah, that's how I'm doing it." Okay, so then what happened after that? Well, after that, you know, I was trying to make the process fast, so I just basically you know, told her to, that, you know, take my number down, you know, hit me no, up. No, nigga, no, nigga, nigga, no, nigga, 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 no, nigga, what the fuck is that about a number? Bro, if you're going to say that to her, it ain't even about a number no more. It's about, let's do this at this time here. It's about, look, look let's say she was, look, call her, call her. Oh my God! So the fact that she was like, "Oh, okay, this was that's what you're trying to do." So what she was in, in some cases, what she's trying to do, she's trying to test your resolve. Mm. She's trying to see if you really that dude. Because sometimes a woman might think, oh, "I think he might be that dude," and you might have some chicks that might have questions for you. So mm. they might do some goofy shit. So they might say some shit, and then you come back with, "No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm that nigga. I'm, I'm trying to do this," and she might be like, "Oh, he might be that dude." And then you're talking about, take my number down, let's talk on the phone. She's like, talk on the phone, nigga? I want some dick, nigga. Yes, talk on the phone. And, how, and, and how, long, how long did it take for you to text her back? How long did it take you for, to, for you to text her back? You know what? That's what I think the problem was, I think, because when she texted me that night, um, like as soon as she texted me, I was like, oh, shit, she hit me up. So I'm like, let me go ahead and set something up at this moment. So I text her at that moment. Like, when she hit me, I hit her right back. And, what'd you, and what'd you, what did she say to you in the text? She just basically said her name, you know, and then my name basically let me know, like, because she told me her name in the, in the, you know, in the grocery store. Mm. And she just texts me, telling me her name plus mm. my name. I'm like, okay, cool. That's when I try to set up something. And, what's, and, what, and what time did she text you? It was like, like 6, 6.30 at night. 6.30 at night. And then you try, and then you, and you tried to set up something for when? For Saturday, so it was basically I met her like on a on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And and why? And, okay, so why because, didn't you try to get her over that night? Shit, I didn't even think about that, man. Hey, that's see, that's about, nothing. See, you know, it's yeah. funny, and and this this is this is a good point. Kay Zaglin was bringing up when you said to her, 
See, and, and this is this is what you guys got to understand. The numbers are is always supposed to be secondary. You understand? So what you could have did in that situation, because everything seemed like it was going a little okay. You, you went up to hey, you know who you gonna fight? She's like, not you. He's like, well, you know what you gonna be doing? Oh, I'm, I'm making love. So when you was like, are you the type of person I'm gonna make love to? You should have been like, she's like, oh, is that what we doing? You should be like, hell yeah, that's what we doing right now. You understand? Like, let's let's make it happen now. You feel what I mean? And so, right. And so, what happens is, is that you want to strike while the situation's hot, and you want her to say, "Oh no, I can't do it now." Because you could have been like, "What you doing right now? Let's 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 take this back right now, right?" And you could have smashed right now. But if she's like, "Hey, I can't," you know, "I got stuff to do. I can't do it." Okay, then now here's my number. You see what I mean? Then when she gets, yeah, she texts yeah. you. When she texts you, you be like, "Yo, what you up to right now?" You see what I'm saying? You always want to make it happen at the at the time. You don't want to have to extend it if you don't need to. Now, if you was busy and you had other shit to do, then that's 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 another story. But the thing is, is that whenever you're in those situations and she's already flirting with you in that way, where that's the topic, you understand what I'm saying? Do that shit now. You understand? So, so yeah. So basically. I guess the I guess the way you run into to me like since I came off very like in my opinion very sexual and she was kind of going along with the you know the high sex the high sexual um situation right I should have just went like you said at that point being like okay shit let's go do this here exactly right you, know, you uh, once you leave the store hey meet me here like some shit like that yes like you want to do that shit quick and 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 what it is is that because you're 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 capitalizing on the moment you feel what I'm saying. Like you gotta, you gotta make sure that you're capitalizing on that moment. Now, if at that moment she couldn't do it, she's like, "Oh, I can't. I got to do something later today." Blah blah blah, or later right now. Cool. Here's my number. Hit me up later, and we'll set something up. And when she texts you later, "Hey, what's good? What you up to right now?" Oh, I'm actually at home. I got to I got to work on something. Okay, cool. Let's meet up Saturday. You see what I'm saying? Like you always want to get it. Uh, okay. You see okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So that that could have that could have that could have maybe. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because it's nothing's mm-hmm. absolute, but. I'm just saying just to think about that for next time. Because even when K. Zagan said, I was like, yeah, he could have tried to see what's popping off right there. You know what I'm saying? Because because look, gotcha, this, gotcha. this time's where, and and um, oh, I think so, uh, seven, seven, nine, eight, we're gonna, I'm going to get to you in a second. There's times where, like I remember, I, I told this story in one of my seminars. Me and my boy was at a hotel uh, bar at this spot in, in New York City, right? And this chick comes down. She was walking in the in a, in a lobby. You understand? And so my boy stops her. And he's talking to her. He's flirting with her a little bit, right? And he said he said he was flirting with her. And he said, "Hey, you got some, you know, you got some cute, like sexy lips or whatever, right?" So then I jump into the situation, and I said. Yeah, he. You, I was like, you do got some sexy ass lips or whatever. So then she says to her friend, to my friend, you got nice lips too. So I said, word. I said, why don't you kiss my friend since you think his lips is so so nice and sexy, whatever. So we're we're going with the moment, and then he kisses her. You feel what I'm saying? And so, mm-hmm. and then, and then the funny part was, <laughs> she said to me, she was like, you got some sexy lips too. I said, oh, are you saying that because you want to kiss me too? She was like, maybe. So then I grabbed her and I kissed her too. Right now, my friend says, where are you staying at? And then she says, I'm staying in this hotel. So he says, yo, why don't we take this situation upstairs to your hotel? And you know what this chick said? She said, I would, but my boyfriend's sleeping. <laughs> so, 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 so I'm telling you, you got you to try to strike while it's hot. Because oh, if your boyfriend that. wasn't there, <laughs> if my boyfriend wasn't there, we'd have been getting it in. You feel me? That that that's actually a dope story. And, and, and what I want guys to get from that story is, is that when you meet women and you with your friends, you're not the only guy they think is cute. Exactly right. Like, they, 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 this, this niggas is part of your clique, mm-hmm. your crew. That's why they you can't be hogging chicks. Exactly. You, know you gotta be like, you you you, you think who's cute? And you look at your homie and be like. Nigga, we can, exactly. we, can finagle, we can finagle it is, nigga. Right, but but call it, <laughs> but, but call. It, I like I like the fact that you you got a good mouthpiece, so you just gotta you know what I'm saying keep doing that, but just strike a little bit more when it when the joint is hot, and then just play that numbers game, and you'll be good, my brother. All right. 
All right, man. All right, man. I'm a holler. Peace, peace. Later. Oh, hold on, real quick. Let, let me address something. Um, right, Aisha on, Smith. I don't know if you're really a woman or not, but yeah, y'all women are funny to me. Y'all women are funny because y'all be fucking best friends. Y'all be fucking cousins. Mm -hmm. Y'all be fucking grandfathers and fathers. Y'all right. be fucking everybody close to the nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then when the nigga catch on to it and be like, if you're going to fuck everybody like that, we all should get in the room and together and just fuck each other. Number one, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, pause. <laughs> I got to say that. Well, well, we all just fuck the chick. <laughs> I got right. to I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure. <laughs> I gotta make, we all just fuck the chick together. I don't know. <laughs> right. I got I to gotta make sure to bring some clarity to that one. Right. But, but, but see, this is what my, 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 my mentality and my model has always been. If I'm fucking with a chick and she's going to, like, if I get into a relationship or if I'm dealing with a chick, even if I ain't in a relationship, but if she's going to fuck my boys and my cousins and my and some of my male co-workers that I introduce her to, then we all might as well just run a train on her. Mm. If she's going to do all that, we just might, hey, hey, bitch, ain't that what you want? You know what I'm saying? Because you fucking everybody anyway. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we, we might as well get, get in the room and just take turns. Running through your ass. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about this shit. Facts. But let's go to 798. 7, 798. Is this King? 798. Hello? Yes, sir. What's going on? What's popping? Who this? Hello. You. Locati, what's up? Man? How are you? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. What's going on, my brother? Did you donate? Yeah, of course, man. I DJ. think I donated because my all right, so what's going on, bro? What's good? Look at you. I fucking love you, man. This the, the mindset, the inner game mindset you have, it's just amazing. It's much more better than the old guys, the old um, old community. I don't, I don't think we can say pickup community, but uh, I think we uh, we can say old community, right? So it is very good. I, like you, oh. yeah, amazing mindset, man. What's what's that's what's up, man? What's the question though? What's the question? So, uh, yeah, my question is like I have been in game for like many years. I've been in game for six years, and I have been. I am an Indian guy. I'm a good-looking Indian guy. I, <laughs> many girls have told me that I'm a good-looking Indian guy. So, <laughs> so I am in Russia. So how <laughs> do you think? Like, uh, how can I, how can I get a, get more results? You say you're in the shelter. No, 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 I'm in Russia, Russia. Oh, Russia, I thought you said, I was like, what? <laughs> so, so, okay, so what? Bro, you, you don't, you don't, you, you don't sound like you're in Russia, bro. You sound like somewhere else, goddammit. <laughs> so, hold on, wait, wait. So what's, so what's your issue, though? So what, what, what what's your problem? Like, what problems are you having with these women? No, uh, like I am doing the numbers game. The numbers game you talked about in this live uh, live video, you you guys talked about numbers game, right? You have to uh, you have to approach uh, enough number of girls to talk to to get results. You have to talk to, because some some girls you approach they have the boyfriend. Some girls you approach they will not like you. There are some girls you approach they don't like your fucking like um, face or something. Mm. So. So you have to approach enough girls to know uh, what which girls like you. So the thing, my thing is like I'm getting enough numbers, I'm getting enough dates, but uh, I think there is some kind of uh, connection issue or some kind of comfort is missing because I have very good Instagram, I have very good, I have very good verbal game. Well, oh, let me hold on. Let me ask you some though. What okay? What do you want yeah. to have? What do you want to happen when you when you talk to these women? What do you want from them? Okay, I will I will walk you through it. Like uh, when I talk to a girl, like first I if the girl uh, when I say hi, if the girl gets uncomfortable, I give like statement of empathy. <laughs> no, I'm asking and, you. Uh, hold on, before give, hold on, before I'm just saying, what do you want to happen with women? What do you want? Uh, like I want to get laid, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand your question. Okay. So no, that, that's what I'm saying. So you're saying you want to you want to get laid. You want to have sex right now. When you're talking to these women, uh, right? Do you ever yeah. do you ever tell them in the conversation that you want to have sex with them? Uh, yes, I I tell them partially. I don't tell tell them uh, like in direct way, but I tell them like, oh, you you got a nice body, or you uh, your dress is very nice. Like uh, not not in the very rude way, but in a 
like very i would say calibrated way i say that see but what it sounds like is that it sounds like you're scared to really talk to these women and let them know what you want to do that's what it sounds like because you said if i say hi and they feel uncomfortable you said you back off or you do some other stuff and you said you halfway telling them that you're interested by telling them they got a nice body like you 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 sound like you're you're very you're very indirect you understand so you so you're uh, in no, no. you're indirect like and you're in and you're nervous situation. you see what i'm saying call her call her call her call her so call her call her i'm 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 going to ask you a question i'm not passing judgment on you but i'm going to ask you a question yes. are you are you currently living in india or pakistan is that where you live at right now or you living in in the western is it somewhere like in england or america i am living in russia in russia right now so he's in russia uh, everybody is open everybody you living in russia okay okay russia okay let, let, me, let me let me let me let me ask you a question let me, let me ask you a question okay where are you originally from because you again no offense you sound like you're from india or pakistan or somewhere like that yeah i i told in uh, in the uh, in the in starting i told you like i am i'm from india bro okay from india okay okay let me ask you a question let me ask you a question okay i'm going to ask you another question and this is a real question do you find of course that 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 your religion and that your upbringing is kind of interfering with what you really want do you find like it's it's it's, it's competing with each other you know you know what i mean uh yeah uh, i understand your question but i have been in i have been doing game for 5 years so i have like uh, get got rid of everything from religion i have got rid of everything like every mental block i had because i am very open to uh, sexual relationships and i am very open to everything now mm. i don't have any like uh, road blocks with the religion thing okay let me hold on how okay how how old are you I'm 24 bro. 24. 24? 24? 24. Okay. And how many women have you been with sexually? How many women you had sex with? <laughs> the thing is that I have a YouTube channel too, so I don't think I am very I'm open to if you, if, you, if you're a virgin if you cut If you're a virgin it's okay we're not going to make fun of you. Right, we just need to know so we can if, help if you out. If you're a virgin it's okay. Say that again. Okay. I'm not a virgin. Okay, you're not a virgin. I, so but I have been, And yeah. so you don't want to tell us how many girls you've been with. I can't because uh, I have this public thing. I can't do it. Well, okay. 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 okay, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. <laughs> okay, look, 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 look. And, and, and let me just say this L and I'm in hijack your shit. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I want guys to understand this because um uh, L, I know you've seen it because you've been doing YouTube right. videos for like a decade before I even got on. There's a lot of guys they want to be accepted into a certain space. Mm. And because we talk the shit that we talk about game and and we have the experience that we have me myself, um 1950, uh Miles and Uh, and 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 see the thing is a lot of people want to be on on par and be right. like yeah yeah I, I've done what y'all have done I've, and it's like gentlemen it, it, it's 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 not a dick measuring contest in that capacity mm. it's okay if you haven't experienced certain things it doesn't mean you're less of a man mm. okay it just means you haven't experienced it yet and and what we try to teach you is okay What do you want out of life? What are you what do you want to experience in your life? Mm. And, and then we're trying, we're here trying to pick up the pieces for you. Like okay, is that what you want to do? Okay, so let's let, let's let's cover the basis and, and and make sure that that happens in the future. Now you got to pay money for that type of shit, but the point is like this guy is talking. Now I think he's a virgin. Now, that's in my personal opinion. Um but at the same time um a lot of times when we deal with certain individuals we do individuals from different countries mm. right so you have religion that comes into the to, to play and you just have culture and all that shit. all that shit matters all that shit impacts how a woman thinks now women are still women though women still want to fuck with motherfuckers they sexually attracted to mm. so and and i'll say this and 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 the guy that's talking i i think you from india i think that's your that's your your place of origin cuz that's what you sound like now if i'm wrong then correct me 
But I know for a fact, this is what I know to be a fact. I know there's an older woman who her family had a marriage arranged for her from India. And she refused to get married to the motherfuckers that she was arranged to get married to. And what she told her family was, I don't want to marry him, mama, dad. And then her, pa her parents said this, if you can find a husband in 30 days, we we'll accept what you're going to bring to us and then we'll let the motherfucker go. Mm. In 30 days, she found a motherfucker. The reason why she found a motherfucker in 30 days, because she already had a dude picked out. Mm -hmm. She had already been dating a guy that she was attracted to, that she wanted to fuck on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And said, I want him to be my husband. Not that motherfucker you picked for me. Just because his family has this dowry and they have all this money and they have all these goats and sheep and all this other shit they can bring to the family. I don't want to fuck him. Mm -hmm. I don't want him. But this is the other guy I want to fuck on a regular. I want to wake up to him on a regular basis to his dick. I want to go to bed holding him with his dick in my arms or my hands or whatever. <laughs> hand. That's the motherfucker I want to fuck with. So she chose, and, 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 and kudos to her parents for saying, if you can find a dude I want to marry you, we'll accept it. And she said, I already got a motherfucker that I've been fucking mm. that I'm attracted to. I don't want you to pick a motherfucker for me because I ain't attracted to him. Even though he got money, even though his family got status. What? I, I said something about status? Did, did, did I say something about status? Right. And money? Women still want to fuck who they want to fuck, regardless of all that. Mm. Y'all got it, man. Wait, and, and caller, why, let me ask you a question. Why do you not want to tell us the amount of women you've been with? Uh, because I study in a university and uh, people like I have everything in social media attached to my channel and that that's why I don't want to. Okay, so so okay, can you tell me the, what what when you actually like what age did you have sex the first time? Yeah, of course, of course, nineteen, nineteen, nineteen. I, was 19, I first came in Russia like five, five years ago. Okay, so nineteen. So you lost it five years ago. Okay, so basically. It's, it's, I, I'm, I, I could already tell it's not that many. You feel what I'm saying? So now, what it is, is yeah. this, bro, is that I think one of your biggest issues is that you know what you want to do, which is hook up with women, but you're you're scared to actually make it happen. That's your mate. That's the, the, the underlying my, situation. My dad no, I can't talk for long. But yeah, the, the thing is that, uh, please answer my question. The thing is that I can't, uh, I want to uh, get, I, I, I have done very, uh, I have had girlfriends, I have had long term relationships, but the short term things, like the, when the girl wants me really sexually and not, not as in a long term prospect, that's what I want. I don't want them to take me as a long term relationship. I don't want, I want them in a short term. So you're of, saying so you're saying yeah. you want so you're saying you want casual sex, right? Correct? Yes, I have had casual sex, but it's not that much. That that's what I'm saying. Okay, so so you're saying you want more casual sex, right? From different girls, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Sir. I, I, I want I want to ask him a question now. I want to ask him a question. Caller, you you're a national now, if I'm wrong, if, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But I don't want to offend you or, your, or your culture or your customs. Are you originally from India? Is that where you're from? Yes, sir. I'm from India. Okay. All right. Let me ask you a question. What makes you want to break away from your natural customs of having arranged marriages where you want to go away from that and have casual sex with women? What's making you change your mind about maybe the way you were brought up? Okay, can you please explain that to us? Sir, the, sir, sir, the abundance. How how can I be like get in one with one girl if I can get in if I can approach like three girls in one day? And I, I love, can... I love them. I love them. I love them already. I love them already. Uh, I heard you. I don't know if they heard you. Right. I, I, I know you heard it. That's why you smile. Right. I'm talking about multiple bitches. Right. But it's the thing. This is the thing. I, I'm telling you. The, the 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 main issue is is that you're you're having issues because you're scared to actually make it happen. You understand what I'm saying? Because the same the same look, it's like this. Okay, let me explain it to you so you get it, right? The same way where a person says, if a person says money is the root of all evil, 
right? They're most likely not going to be rich. Why? Because they have, there's a conflict there. They're like, I don't want to be evil. So I don't want to deal with a bunch of money. Cause if I deal with a bunch of money, that means I'm going to be evil. You see what I'm saying? So they have to get rid of that issue of thinking that money's the root of evil, right? So this, the same situation's happen, happening with you. There's something blocking you from actually making the moves you need to make in order to get casual sex from multiple women. And there's something that you're scared of doing and scared of actually making happen. Just like how you fear just telling us how many chicks you smashed, there's something in you that's scared to actually go out there and do certain things with women because of how you think people are going to look at you. Or how you think the girl's going to look at you or how you think your friends got something, something is stopping you from getting to the next level. And you have to figure out what that is that's stopping you from getting there. So what is it that makes you fear uh, actually telling a girl that you want to want to have sex? Because you just told me you want to get laid. You want to have casual sex with women. So what I'm saying is when you talk to the girls, you're saying, well, you have a nice body and all that. But how come you can't just tell the girl, hey, I'm sexually attracted to you and I want us to meet up so we can have sex. Why can't you say that to a woman? Uh, the thing is that I, I say that to women. I, I have said that to women. I have I have been on, like, how to, how to explain it uh, in a calibrated way. Uh, I have had girls, I, I, I go on dates like every week, I, every weekend I have dates. I, I go to the game regularly. I have, uh, I have done very good games. So the thing is that uh, I'm not uh, I'm not uh, scared of anything. I am just scared that I have reputation here in this. But city. see, that's what that's what I'm saying. City, I have a reputation. That's what. I, what okay. What? Hold on. 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 What? Okay. What reputation do you have? Uh, like I am a student here, and uh, it's a small city, so everyone in the uh, university or everyone teacher, it's a small city, so everyone knows. So wait, so of, so so everyone, okay, town. so everyone in Russia knows you? Not in Russia, in the city I I live in. How many people in the city you live in? It's like a uh, hundred again. A hundred thousand people are in the city. A hundred thousand people know you. Like most, <laughs> not what? me, but uh, but the students who are from India are very less. So wait, know. so wait, hold on, hold on. So this is what I'm saying. Again, this is what I'm saying. You're scared to do things because you think people give a fuck. You understand? I'm I'm trying to tell you they don't give a fuck. You're scared of, of what your reputation and all. Nobody knows you, bro. Like who knows you? What's your Insta what's your Instagram? My Instagram is AJ himself. It's DM DM me DM me how many how many Instagram followers you got? Like 500 600. So you have 600 know, okay so 500. you have 500 Instagram followers and you you have and you think you have a reputation? No, the thing, no, no, sir. Uh, uh, look at you. The thing is, I'm saying is that uh, if I, how to say it, if I, I, uh, the number of girls I can approach in one day is very less. Because if I approach uh, more than that, the girls, no, uh, people will be like suspected of it, or people that someone will, someone from the uh, organization or the university will like kind of uh, know it. I don't know how to say it in a way. You said someone from what what organization will do what? <laughs> okay, let uh, let me explain it. Uh, so it's a small city. Mm -hmm. So almost everybody, everybody, everybody from the university is a, uh, either they are teachers mm -hmm. or they are students, right? So teachers uh, or the students or the people who work in the university, they are like walking around. Uh, so the day game is almost dead. They, the, uh, the, uh, it's a small city, so the, it's either it's the center or it's uh, in the malls. So, there so, are two ways to go. So, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, so what do you think is going to happen to you if you are on a date with a girl and you let her know you want to have sex with her? What do you think is going to happen? No, date is okay. Date is okay. But I'm talking about the first approach. 
What? Say it again. Okay. Uh, call, call her. Call, call her. Speak a little slower, please, please, please. So, so you said okay. So you go and you get on. You you're, you're okay with getting dates? Is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. Right. So now, are you having sex with any of these girls that you on dates with? Of course, of course. So then, what's the issue? Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I'm curious now. I, I'm curious. So, Carla, are, are, are you here in America, or are you still in your country of India? Now he in Russia right now. Oh, he in Russia? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh you, you, you fucking bitches at the Kremlin? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm oh, fucking with I'm fucking with no, So, bro, <laughs> so if you're having sex with these women, then what's the issue? Why, why, I don't understand. So, so what it is, is it either you're having sex or you're not having sex? What's the issue? Look, uh, Miss uh, sir. My issue is that just that I I am getting girls, I am getting uh, sex, but I just want to get more sex. So then, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. So then, if oh. you want to get on, if you want to get more sex, why don't you just go on more dates and get more sex? What's the issue? Uh, how can I get more sex uh, if I'm in a small city? Go. Why don't you travel to another city and and get more sex? If you feel like you've exhausted all the people in your city. Okay. So so he, he said he's in Russia, right? That's yeah. what I do. That's call it, call it. What what part of Russia are you in? Are you in Moscow? Are you in Moscow? No, uh it's like no no no, it's not Moscow. Moscow is very big. I if I was in Moscow, I would I would get laid every day. <laughs> Moscow okay, okay. call big. her, call her, call her. Moscow is amazing. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna help you out. There is a black guy, I don't know his name. There's a black guy, a black American, African American guy who lives in Russia, Moscow. And he has a YouTube channel. I, I don't recall his YouTube channel name, but he's an African American man and he has a bunch of snow bunnies. You know what a snow bunny is? <laughs> okay, anyway, don't no 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 don't worry about that. Okay, a snow bunny, a snow bunny is a white chick to, to a black guy. Mm. He has a bunch of uh, snow bunnies on his arms. The black guy. Now, first of all. When you talk about a black guy living in Russia, it's like who a brother living in Russia? What? What the fuck? But he's a black he's a he's a black American guy. He lives in Russia. He has a YouTube channel. So go ahead. I don't know his name, but go ahead and, and you can search African American or black guy living in Russia or Moscow black guy. Search search that shit. Y'all get together. Right for real. Yeah yeah y'all team up. Wait, how, 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 how far is Moscow from where you're at? Uh, it's like 10 hours. 10 hours? Damn, Russia's that fucking okay, all right, that. Then you fucking... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Russia, Russia, Russia. Nigga, Russia nigga you know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to You're gonna have to spend a weekend in Moscow or some shit. <laughs> and, and just... <laughs> so what, what's the closest place to where you're at, though, that has more people? Like, how, how far is the closest town to where you're at? It's like four hours away. I, I like I travel to I travel to other cities. Uh, hey, wait a yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, but hold on, hold on. So if you say if you say your joint has fifty thousand uh, uh, people, I mean a hundred thousand people. Let's say half of them are women. Yes, sir. Okay, you're trying to tell me you can't get women. Out, you can't get out of fifty thousand women. You can't get no more women to fuck with. I mean, out of fifty thousand chicks, you should, you, should, you should get a hundred. You should get a hundred, a hundred chicks easily out of fifty thousand. Right? Like, why can't you get out of those women? A hundred chicks. Yeah. Sir, so the thing is that I I can go in beast mode in my city, but I'm I can't I'm re like really scared of it because of the small small com amount of city. See that again? He's he's saying exactly what I'm saying, bro. This is your issue because I, I gotta go in a second. But this yeah. is your issue, man. Your issue is is that you're scared. Of what other people are gonna think, and that's stopping you from making moves. Is that right. simple? Right. All you need to do, since you're going on, if you're being honest and going on these dates and, and and having sex with these women, all you need to do is find more women, and then go on dates with those women and have sex with those women. That's it. I, but I, you, I, I don't. I, I, you know, I never understood why why fuck with the bitches that don't want to fuck with you. I don't know. Fuck with the chicks that's showing you love, right? 
And what, and what showing you love is gonna give you the most least amount of problems, man. And, and and guys, stop being so egotistical, man. Like, what reputation y'all got? Nobody knows y'all you. Y'all got no reputation. Y'all, y'all niggas unknown. Y'all niggas work at Walmart, Target. <laughs> yeah. Nobody know y'all niggas. <laughs> what y'all playing? Caller, what reputation do you have that's gonna be ruined? What reputation? Hello. Huh? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, the thing is that I have, to, uh, I will have a great career uh, if I just complete my university right now. Like uh, after six months, I will complete my university. So after that, I will have a great career. So if I don't, uh, if within, if the, the, within these six months, uh, if the university doesn't uh, like have any problems with me, I will have a great career. So I don't want to like just have any problems with it. But that's what I'm saying. What? See, you know, you know what it is. Y'all be one foot in and one foot out the game. You understand? Because what problems are you gonna have in your career that have to do with you getting sex? Like, I don't understand it. That's that's two different things. You getting sex and you having a career is two different things. Now, unless you're doing some weird ass shit, and unless you're being a weirdo and fucking. Uh, you know, doing something criminal or sexually assaulting a no, woman. No, no. All the niggas will be heteroflexible. You know what I'm saying? Then no, then you no, might no. have some uh, issue. But if you're in a situation where you're meeting women, you're going on dates, and you're having sex with them, how is that going to ruin your reputation? How? Oh, look, at it. Thank, thanks for everything, man. I can't talk for long because my credits are really low, but... Uh, Thanks for everything. I, I can talk. I can write in chat right now because my call is about to end right now. All right, brother. Appreciate the call, Hello. man. All right. Okay, let, me, God. Let, me, let, me, let me say this. Y'all, y'all, y'all take sex too goddamn serious. It, it, look, look. It's a physical act that feels good. It's nothing more than that. Y'all be making it all special to you. Y'all be like, <laughs> if she give my sex away, I'm going to kill everybody. You know right. what I'm like, like there, 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 there's a story. Um, Willie D from the Ghetto Boys. He, he, mm. he, you know, he got a YouTube channel. He did a video from some dude in Oregon, mm. where uh, the white boy, where a black dude gave his chick a compliment and he killed the guy. Wow, for giving his girl a compliment. Wow, yes, well, nigga. Shout out to Steve the Dean in the building. <laughs> well, I, I, I actually do want to talk about that at a later date, but it's, it's in Oregon and, and and it's a story that's going around where and and then. I had a problem with 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 the with the dudes in the chat. Oh, he was disrespectful. He he was a, he offended them. I'm like offended who? Because mm. they get a chick a compliment because they told the told the nigga the bitch look pretty. I'm right. like, is niggas dying for that? Right. I'm like, because niggas are so emotional and so possessive and so jealous and insecure. If a dude tell your woman she your woman is cute, you gonna kill him? Right. Uh, he ain't even fucked her. Uh, is that what is that where we going? <laughs> That's crazy. And and, and, and you know. With the last caller um, that called in uh, King Cole, bro, I'm telling you, man, you're stopping your... You know what You know what it remind me of? It's like, what you guys have to understand is, is that in order for you to accomplish anything, you have to be all in and you got to move forward, period. Like, you can't, you can't, like, it's like a person saying, man, you know what? I want to be an entrepreneur and I want to make a lot of money and I want to have my own business. And then I'm like, all right, cool. Well, you know, you're going to have to work, uh, uh, you know, long hours and shit. Well, you know what? I don't really want to work that much because I want to get more sleep because I feel like I've had more sleep tonight or the next few w- weeks that I'll be. No, if you want this, this is what has to happen. You understand what you might lose some sleep, right? If you, if you want to get fit and you want to get a six pack and you want to, you got to eat certain way, you got to go to the gym, you got to do all this other stuff, but it's like, yeah, I want, I want all those things, but I don't really want to go to the gym. Can I, can I just not go to the gym and then just do, no, no, you, you got to do all this stuff. You got to go all the way in. Well, you understand what I'm saying? Mario, I want to be, I, I want to have sex, but I don't know how to be sexually desirable. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? So well, if I just get some money, you know, ain't that a shortcut to being sexually desirable? No, because <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm like, yo, it's like dudes want to make stuff happen without having to make stuff happen. That's what I'm saying. You have to, you have to go in and and be about it. You feel what I'm saying? Because the whole time when he was calling and talking, I'm like, 
He's talking about all these other things that's stopping him from making shit happen. He's like, oh, my reputation, the, the, the town is too small. I, you know, I got, I got this, you know, I'm trying to be successful in my business and I'm scared that this is good. And you're thinking about all these other things that have nothing to do with nothing. And, and you know what it is? A lot of, you know, it's funny. A lot of guys who have, and this, I noticed this pattern. A lot of guys who have issues with women have the biggest egos. It's ridiculous. They think they're special. They're like, Back. everyone's watching me. Everybody's going to know. And to your point, the dude, like, everybody's watching me. Like, nobody cares a fuck about your life. Like, right. Everybody, everybody got their own problems. Look, look, and I, I, I want to present this to most men, or to all you men, really. There's somebody in your life that's down right now. Somebody that got cancer, someone that got a terminal illness. Right. Some, so, something is happening to somebody that you care about where you feel like you got to be there. Mm. Are you really going to be concerned with a random chick? Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Come on, man! It, it, all this is bullshit, and and, and what it is, it, it it goes to the ideology that people want to fall in love, right? And, and, right. and they plan on that bullshit. Deshaun, why are you doing this to us? You know, you know, we got in the show and you be talking this shit. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta hit you with the button. I mean, I, I, I argue. I had an argument with my homies that I grew up with because because one nigga said that. That nigga Dave said he was talking about cars and shit. So I I I, I challenged my own homie, like, what the fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Then he was like, then you know, he's like, uh, you know, it, it, it came across another way. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. So I, I had to take my own niggas on this shit. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Look, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Okay, I and, and Lacario, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna leave it alone. For all you dudes. Precious, the chick that played uh, that played uh, Precious in the movie Precious, right? If she cooked you a home cooked meal and she was ultra feminine and submissive, would you fuck her? I mean, after all, she's doing everything you want her to do, right? Would you fuck her? Would you have sex with her? Most people be like, "Oh, fuck no." Why? Because you're not sexually attracted to her, right? Regardless of the, what the fuck she do, mm -hmm. women think the same way. Exactly. Facts. So guys, listen, we about to wrap this up. Um, remember, get get this shirt right here. I'm going to put the, the 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 big layout real quick. So get the bitch relax shirts. Go to bossmacstreetwear.com to get the bitch relax shirts. You feel me? Make sure you guys shout out to my dude Boss Mac. Dick is a gift. The dude Boss Mac right there. It's a gift. Make sure you guys get, get the shirts. Go to bossmacstreetwear.com to get your shirts and get that shit cracking. You feel me? Um, yeah, man. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to holler at y'all later. And remember, the truth is inside you. We out of here.